Go live. Hello, hello, everybody. Heart of the Swamp. Okay. Okay, I'm live. I'm live. I'm live. We've got a mutate event. I was going to do... I need to do purveyor pulls because I have no gear at all. But Heart of the Swamp can finish really quickly. So what I'm going to do is go to Heart of the Swamp. I'm not going to be able to do much. I have no... Uh, I have no weapons other than grenades and no armor. So I'm going to basically have to hide. But I want that mutated event because I want the party pack and I want the uh, 35 script. So we're going to do the mutated event first. And then we will uh, we'll come back here. That's what we'll do. So let's do this. May not go quick. I don't know. This world doesn't seem that full. But these can go really, really quickly. And I just don't want to... Uh, I don't want to miss it. So we'll do the purveyor after this. <clears throat> So I'll be here and I'll be completely useless. Of course, maybe it won't finish quickly. Oh, there's one person. All right. While we're doing that, let's look at the chat. We got Ram, who's not going to be here. So hello, Ram, not being here. Uh, Pub Lobster, Insomnia, the High Confessor of Carrots. What a name. What's better, Auto Axe or Cold Shoulder? Uh, Mr. Empos answered that. I mean, I, I have the same opinion. They're both very good and they're completely different. So comparing them is difficult. Now we got Sophia talking in my ear. Mr. Epos, Bubba Ray, Steve Martin, Raccoon Lex, and Senshi. Welcome, welcome, everybody. So I'll just let uh, Daguerre do her thing. I can't do much. If I go down there, I'm just going to die. So, And I don't really care about the XP from it. I mostly am just here for the party pack. So I'm going to freeload on this event. Choo-choo. Yes, choo-choo. All right, she's done talking. So I didn't do anything with this character. I actually turned in script. I actually had... had uh, I have 500. I just barely had enough to get over that 500 uh, after turning everything in. So I didn't have a whole lot. Got eviction notice. Nice, nice. Eviction notice is awesome. I'm glad I didn't get that. I was hoping I wouldn't get eviction notice as a first event because that would suck. <laughs> it would just take a really long time. I want it later on, but not right now. So, hey, Andy, welcome, welcome. You have your idea ready, but you don't know how to name it. You're guessing you'll name it the Wiggle. All right. I have no idea what you're talking about, but okay. Uh, so I've got that, and I made one minor thing with the character, so... Uh, I've got a character that has, like, three of these shield shielded vault suits just sitting in stash, so I decided to move one over to this character. It's not a big, you know, it's not gonna make a difference probably either way, but... So I have a shielded vault suit instead of a regular vault suit, so we're getting those little bonuses right there, because I looked in the stash of another character and I had all of them. I had three of them, so... I figured, why not? Uh, I've also got some mutations ready to go when I hit to that level, we're not there yet. No food? What's no food? Luckily you got work. Oh, completed the scoreboard. You're starting a new tune. No food, barely loot. Oh, geez. Yeah, but no food. Well, I mean, I guess if you're doing the um, the one challenge, right? The uh, one challenge, not the one challenge. If you're using that one perk, uh, survival syringe, you don't really need food. So there's that. Uh, let's see, well, how are we doing in food anyway? Effects, okay, company tea we got for another 30 minutes. Um, I don't really have anything that's spoiling, so that's fine. Do I have water? I do have water. All right, there's our food. Call it the wiggle. All right. Except all my characters are different. Like, like all my characters, like all of your characters carry lots of things. My characters are all different. I mean, I have some characters that loot everything. Some characters loot nothing. Some characters... Yeah, you're not going to be able to do the no looting. I Like, there's just no way. I I, I would take that bet. You, you, you going through, I think you would last maybe... Less than 30 minutes of not looting. Unless you're AFK for that entire 30 minutes. So, just like my poll, when I, because uh, I've been playing Fallout 4, I actually had a couple days I didn't even play this. I logged in and just turned in, uh, turned in legendaries and that's it. So, turned in script. And I played Fallout 4, I played it quite a bit earlier in the week. And when I'm looking at, uh, uh, what is it, Lone Wanderer, I'm like, oh, I forgot about the 100 carry weight for rank 2. And, uh, I immediately thought of Mr. Epos. I'm like, yeah, he would totally go for it. If that was Lone Wanderer in this game, he would never be on a team. <laughs> he would just be doing low on no looting, less than 30 seconds. Less than 30 seconds. That's probably two. Oh, all of the daily ops plans. Nice, nice, nice. All right, it looks like the Strangler Heart is almost dead. Someone's got, I keep hearing arrows. Who? Who is shooting? I keep hearing arrows, but uh, there's nobody here. I mean, it sounds like there's someone right here shooting arrows, but there's no other players right here. So, I don't know. My character is hallucinating.
Does Lone Wander per perk work in PvP? I have no idea. I mean, my assumption would be yes, but at the same time, it could possibly not. I, I mean, I actually don't know. I don't PvP, so I actually have no idea. Oh, Strangleheart is right. Okay. Yeah, I'm try I'm actually not trying to get XP here. So I do that's one of the reasons. I mean, I could go down there and probably survive, but uh, I don't really want to get XP at the moment. I want to get my uh, level 20 gear, and I'm just here just to get the uh, the party pack and the 35 script. That's it. That's all I'm here for. And then, okay, so that's, uh, it's Tom that's got the bow. That's interesting. So he was right here shooting. And even though he's all the way over there, every time he shoots, I still hear it. I hope it's not like that the whole stream where his uh, bow just follows me around the whole time. That would suck. It should, but it won't matter. Yeah. Bloodied 15 gal shotgun. Oh, that's a good one. If you're playing low health anyway, that's a good one. All right, there we go. Treasury note. Let's get my rewards. There's my 35 script that I wanted and my mutated party pack. I left one of these early ones and I didn't get the party pack, so I will wait until it actually... Wendigo? When do we get Wendigos here? That's crazy. Um, there we go. Bonus mutated rewards. All right, back to the uh, purveyor. Oh, oh, there's two people there. Well, hopefully there's not a line. That would kind of suck. PvP damage limit is weird. Yeah, it's like you're limited to like 100 damage. It's So it doesn't matter how much damage you do. It's like 100, but there's other things. I mean, I'm not a PvP person, so... Um, so I got this. So I had some thoughts on... Oh, he's got a glowing uh, glowing thingy. All right. Let's do this. So I'm going to do five armor pieces. Now, I'm still going to do the... Oops. <laughs> do the same thing I've been doing. But what I thought of is I could actually mix, do a mix of like two and three star pieces of armor. Because really that third star isn't super important. I'm not really worried about like weapon weight or anything like that. So... I could do a mix, but I'm going to wait until a max level because right now it still isn't that big of a deal. So let's just go for some legendary armor. We'll go for five pieces. Wait till the rewards show on the screen, then you actually get it. Exactly. Made in time. Hey, drinks. Welcome, welcome. Here we go. Chameleon, left arm, perception, limp damage. Yuck. I mean, it's better than what I had last time because I ended up with level one gear, but nothing amazing. Unyielding. I keep getting unyielding. Plus one intelligence. So here's a leveling piece. Uh, yeah, metal. I'm not crazy about metal. The energy resistance on metal is non-existent, so I'm not loving the start we're doing here. Overeaters, sturdy leather, right arm, perception. All right, that'll work. We are eating, so that'll work. Uh, let's see, two more pieces to go. Weightless robot. Oh, I got a chest piece, so that's good. I mean, that's not great, but uh, at least it's a chest piece, so I have one of those. So what, let's see, we've got a Left arm, right arm, left arm, chest. Okay, so I've got uh, three pieces. Three uh, three things covered. All right, next up, or last up, uh, left leg. Aristocrats, which isn't going to help me at all. I think I have less than 2,000 caps, but is it a left leg? All right, so I've got uh, still three out of left arm, left leg, left arm. Yeah, left, yeah, okay. So anyway, three pieces. All right, let's go for a ranged weapon. And depending on what this is, I may go for melee. Oh, YouTube wants ad money, so we'll turn that off. Uni intelligence is good. It is, except I'm full health, so not so much. Hate that they may change the scoreboard system. Oh, it's going to be fine. It'll be fine. I would wait until it comes out, until we judge, because people are freaking out for no reason at all. So I think for the most, for most people, it's not going to be any. I mean, visually, it'll be different, but overall, I, I don't think it's going to be a whole lot different. So anyway, uh, let's see. Ranged weapon. Let's see what we get here. Hunter's combat shotgun with critical damage. Damage resist while reloading. Okay, so I could do shotguns. I don't really have shotgun perks. I do have level ups to take, so I could do some shotgun perks. Shotgun ammo is actually pretty easy as well. Um, I think I'm just going to roll the dice and go for another ranged weapon, because if it's crappy, I could still use this. So that's what we're going to do. Hey, Brian, welcome. Does Forest Scout armor and Urban Scout armor count? Yes, it does. For, like, funky duds and whatever. He did a video on this. Yeah. Well, I mean, there's a video. Yeah. Do not agree you hate change? Oh, that's why people are freaking out. It's like, ah, it's change. Well, yeah, I think for the most part, it's not going to be. It's either going to be neutral to slightly better. I don't think it's going to be worse. It's going to be neutral to slightly better. But people are freaking out before it even starts. And it's like, I think for most people, it's not going to be that much different. So here we go. Mutants, 10 millimeter submachine gun, uh, vats, hit chance, and bonus critical charge. Um, 
this is automatic, and this being automatic is not ideal, so probably I may carry it, but I'm not going to rely on it. So let's see here. What's our armor here? Uh, oh, let's, let's do our party pack here. Mutated party pack. I can't use this, but uh, we can put this in the script machine right away. Hunter single ash revolver. Get rid of that. I got adrenal reaction. All right. Uh, geez, all kinds of stuff. All right. Uh, let's put the serum away. Adrenal reaction. We don't need that. I don't need a bobblehead. Oh, that must have been from when I left the vault. Yeah. All right. What, uh, what's our armor situation doing? So we've got one chest. So that's an easy decision. We've got... Uh, Oh, sturdy combat. Okay, that was from the event, an event reward. <clears throat> you don't, you do not agree. Well, that's okay. It doesn't matter. I think it could be a lot better. I mean, it's not going to be worse. I mean, it's again, people are making all kinds of assumptions without actually being rolled out. So, uh, it's yeah, it's not going to be worse. It's just not. So let's see. We want this overeaters. That's a right arm. So we've got a left leg. And oh wow, I got four out of. That's actually pretty good. I got four out of five pieces. Uh, let's put the one away, scrap the other. Let's see what mods we could do. Oops, that's not the... Oh, well, whatever. <laughs> I could scrap it another time. Uh, let's see here. Let's see what mods I could do and uh, modify. Maybe make this better. That is so bulky. All right, so robot. I don't know what I could do with robot. Uh, painted. All right, that's an improvement. And if we could put paint on it, we will, just to keep it out of the script machine. So we'll do that. Uh, metal left arm, standard, painted. All right, that's an improvement. And painted. It's more cumbersome and obfuscated instead of a straight forward one to 100. Yeah, it is what it is, but uh, is Thorn also, yes, Thorn is also, yes, Thorn is, uh, Thorn is, and so is Solar. They're all scout armors. It should, it should all count for funky duds. I mean, I haven't tested, I haven't like done a total mix and match, but it should all count, so. Yeah, if you have to buy the mods from from uh, Modus, then it counts as Scout, basically. All right, uh, let's see. We've got uh, right arm. What do we have here? Boiled. All right, we're making some good lighter build. Uh, well, an extra two AP. Sure, why not? <laughs> why? Oh, paint. Let's do paint. Uh, let's see here. Uh, let's see. One more chess piece. Robot chess piece. We got enameled and uh, let's see. All right, so this is a little more balanced. So that's 17 and 17, and this is... Okay, we're going to go with the balance just because we have a metal piece. So let's try and uh, do this, and we have nothing there. We do have paint. Oh, we painted everything. Awesome. All right, so here is our look, what we've got going on. So we've got... Uh, do we only have three pieces? I thought we had four. It's, oh, it's right there. You can't really see the metal. It's not... Uh, okay, so yeah, that's gonna... I can't believe that would protect us much, but uh, yeah, there, <laughs> there it is. Okay, um, so we've got that. What is our resistance looking like? So 58 and 56. Oh, wow, we're perfectly balanced. And 21 rads and 25 cryo. All right, we're perfectly balanced there. Let's see what we could do with this gun, with the uh, combat shotgun. Guess we'll be doing shotguns this time, which is a little more interesting. Sepru, welcome. What could be worse than getting five marks on a 70 score round? Good question. For what you've seen next season, scoreboard maybe one of the best ones. I mean, it looks like there's a lot of good stuff. There's a new weapon on there. It's a cremator, I think is what it's called. A new. I, it sounds like it's not like it uses flamer mods, but I don't know if it's actually based on the flamer. And I, I'm actually I'm not even positive it uses flamer mods. So I don't either. I just roll with it, Mr. Epos. That's just kind of how I go. Uh, let's see. So we want uh, ooh, calibrated receiver, standard, true. They're all the same. So we'll do calibrated. Why not? Standard. Do we have an aligned uh, line short barrel? I don't want a short barrel. Let's go with uh, standard long barrel until we get some more mods. Standard st oh, forceful stock. Okay, so that is gunsmith four. All right, so we're going to take some gunsmith here. Couple ranks of gunsmith because I think I left it at rank two. Yeah, so we'll get that up to rank four, which you need for combat shotguns. Yeah, I didn't realize what the setup would be like, but that's kind of how this is. Like the setup is, uh, uh, the setup every every uh, the beginning of every stream is gonna have to be like this because I'm kind of flying without you know without knowing what I'm gonna have. Hard bargain, sure, why not? All right, let's try this again. See what mods we could do. 
probably be the next event before I get, uh, let's see, um, standard stock, forceful, yep. Perforating magazine, ooh, nice, all right, perforating magazine is good, let's go for a reflex sci- our AP cost on this is just stupid, but no muzzle, do we have paint? All right, let's do a, which one should I go for? Let's do poker paint. Okay, now I need to uh, see about some perks. Let's do some shotgun perks, shall we? Let's see, we've got scatter shot. Oh, that's a good one. That's uh, faster reload will actually be good. Kind of thinking maybe I should just kind of go all in on this. How many uh, level ups do I have? Three level ups, so I could take two more. Yeah, we'll do that. We'll do two more ranks of scatter shot and one rank of shotgunner. As I get up, once I get over level 50, then I can have like redundant, you know, I can have, uh, start taking extra perks. And, all right, we'll do that. Shotgunner. So we should get decent reload speed. All right, so we've got that. We've got all of our level ups. And let's uh, favorite this. There we go. Probably, yeah, I don't have enough ammo. I need to get some more ammo. And I don't know about this 10 mil sub. I just don't, uh, I don't know how much 10 mil ammo I have. I guess I can carry it. I don't know if I want to waste resources modding it, but let's see. I mean, I'm not mutated either, so... Calibrated, stub barrel, standard stock. Yeah, I don't even know any mods for it, so we'll just unmod. We'll keep it on. Let's see. Is there a skin for it? No, nope, there's not even a skin for it. All right, let's go grab some ammo for these things and uh, go back to my camp here. We'll do that. All right. Hey, Kara, welcome, welcome. Combat shotgun sounds nice. Well, it's a hunter's combat shotgun, so... Eh. <laughs> mods are learned on the scoreboard. Yeah, I don't know if we have all... I don't know if that's all of the mods or if there's other mods. Like, I know that there are some mods on the scoreboard, but I don't know if that's all of them. I don't know. We'll see. I mean, it's one of those things. We just kind of have to wait. Oh, the cremator is uh, from Fallout 3? All right. Join the dark side. Become one with the shotguns. I love shotguns. Uh, shotguns are one of my favorite weapons to use. I have a dedicated shotgun character. All right, let's see. We've got, uh, I should have, okay, 290 shotgun shells. Should be enough to get a start. What about 10 mil? 10 mil ammo. Uh, do I have the sorted funny? Do I have no, I have no 10 mil ammo? Oh, no, it's right there in front of me. All right, so we have some 10 mil ammo. All right, so that could work in maybe for tagging or something in an, an event. Uh, there's that. There's that. Uh, company T. Let's just redo our company T right now. Pick up some more right here. All right. Uh, where were we left off? <laughs> where are we left off? Now that we're ready. Stamps. There are plenty of filler rewards on any of the scoreboards. So having five stamps or like 70 isn't any different from what we have now. Yeah, I don't know about the filler rewards. Like, I really haven't looked that closely at the rewards. I've I'm just going to wait until this until it shows up and then judge it at that point. I'm not going to because all we have is like partial information and to to make a judgment based on that is just it's kind of silliness. I know it's, that's what people do. Uh absent uh, actual information. Oh, the uh let's do the airport. Wait. All right, so there's that. There's Okay, so I've got to fast travel the airport. We got a new event coming up in like a minute. So What was the other one? There was the wayward quest line as well, right? Oh, kill the gang leader. Oh, that's what we'll do. All right, we'll start making our way up in that direction. Yeah, we'll start doing this. And uh, at least I can discover the farm before the next event. Damage falloffs on shotguns is kind of insane. Yeah, because they have a short range. I mean, anything is like that. I mean, the same thing is true of, say, the Elder's Mark, which is a really good gun. But once, the da once, uh, once you start uh, losing range, then the damage drop off is pretty severe and shotguns have a short range. So that's how it's going to be. All right. This microphone is not quite what I want. Keep thinking I should change this backpack. That money flying out constantly is kind of starting to bother me. <laughs> so I may change this backpack at some point. It's fine, but it's not really, uh, it actually kind of works. I mean, it actually, because of the shape of it, it actually works with this, uh, with this chess piece. If I had something else, it might clip in, it clip in it or whatever. So it actually goes really well. It looks like I have a duffel bag uh, strapped to my back. So I do like how my uh, got everything painted, and uh, I doubt I'll hit level fifty today, but we'll see. Turn off the back. Yeah, I don't want to turn off the backpack. I just want. To I was thinking of maybe just a different skin. I actually like the backpacks. I mean, I like I like showing them. So if I if I turn it off, it's for good. 
it's it's usually for a specific reason. So with this, it's just the animation, you know, of the money flying out. So I think we can get, we're almost to the farm and a treasure spot. If anyone saw that video, I didn't really know. I mean, it's something I knew uranium. Oh, uranium fever. That's perfect because what do mole miners use? They use shotguns. So this would be a great time for me to pick up some mods. So maybe I can get a line long barrel. Would it be nice? Uh, a suppressor would actually be nice. We're just going to pick this up. And uh, I guess I won't see the treasure mound because I don't... Well, I do. Yeah, it's right here. I don't have any maps, but there's the treasure mound in case anyone's... I don't remember what number it is, but there it is. All right. Let's go kill some mole miners. What backpack? It's from the scoreboard. It's from the current scoreboard. It's uh, something. The heist backpack or something. Probably a bear. Hello. Money flying out should have been reserved for when you're printing. Makes no sense to have the cash pour out when you're standing still or walking. Oh, you mean sprinting? Yes. Yes. That would make sense. All right. So we'll get a lot of steel. We'll get a lot of whatever. Everything here sounds like it's dead. I don't hear anything. So let's go in, kill some mole miners. And approach for identification. I stopped. I approached. <clears throat> so glad Fashnot's over. Yippee. The, the night... <clears throat> <clears throat> Pardon me. The nightmare is over. No more Fashnot. I think the last one I did was actually on the stream on... Was it Monday? It was Monday, right? That was the last Fashnot that I did. I didn't do any more uh, after that. I was just, nope, I'm done. But that was less, pretty much the last... I didn't play Fallout for a couple, or at least 76 for a couple days after that. Kind of got into Fallout 4 for a bit. I just got the bug. I was watching... Uh, some Fallout 4 videos and thought, you know, I think I want to start playing. I haven't played it in a while. And, uh, yeah, that no fast travel thing is, because uh, I, you know, I like playing survival mode. So that no fast travel thing is, uh, is different. And actually having, uh, survival mode is fun just because it makes you think about other things as well. It's like, do I really want to use a stim pack? Because if you do, it makes you thirsty and you have to drink. And then if you have to drink, I mean, you have a limited supply of water and... All right, uh, why is there one attacking here? There's always one attacking there. Someone's attacking me from some... Oh, there we go. I kill stuff. See, this is what a shotgun should do compared to what I had last time when I had a really good shotgun, but no concentrated fire. Hey, Matthew, welcome, welcome. Gauss minigun... Gauss minigun's fun. I mean, it'll do a lot of damage. It's, uh, it's solid. The ammo's really heavy. Even with uh, weight reduction, so that's something to think about. But Gauss minigun's fun. If you're looking for something to uh, spend gold bullion on, it's I think it's worth it if you're a heavy gunner and you like heavy guns. Definitely worth having it in your arsenal. Yeah, I would like a different magazine too. There's I'm using perforating, but there's one that's piercing, which I think I think it has a faster reload and lower AP cost. I could be wrong, but if I kill stuff in a single shot, that's actually pretty good. That will not stay the, uh, it won't stay that way. I feel like we got lag, lag getting in the way of things here. Seemed like they weren't taking damage. I had that happen to me uh, yesterday. I was recording a video and that happened. <clears throat> Plenty of shotguns for mods. Yes, that's why I'm here. Two shots still good on Gauss Mini? I don't know. I don't know if that's the star that you want or not. I mean, two, one thing I will say is two shot really hurts accuracy, so I, I don't know that uh, I don't know that that's the way I'd want to go. I'd rather have something like uh, anti armor or aristocrats or bloodied if you're playing that way. But uh, I don't know. I haven't tried to two shot, so I actually don't know how good it is. Terminated management. We want to get their legendary stuff. Legendary somewhere. Maybe back here. Must be back here. In there. All right. Someone's in trouble. I'm trying to... Oh, well, okay. <laughs> he went to the great beyond. Chainsaw should not... Should use fuel, not AP. I agree with that. I think that'd be great. Two shot on Gauss Mini is okay, but it becomes horribly inaccurate, even with stabilized and stuff. All right. Yeah, you probably need to just gobble Formula P, right? Because that's... Does Formula P still stack? Hey, Viticus. Welcome, welcome. 
Yeah, the, the chainsaw auto axe should use fuel. The uh, the uh, what is it? The the jetpack on Secret Service Brotherhood Recon should use fusion cells or fusion core or something. I hear stuff. I'm getting XP pop up, so that stuff I should be able to loot, which is good. Somebody over here? No, nope, I don't know. Rad Shield didn't anymore. Oh, Rad Shield didn't. Okay. Rad Shield's kind of tough, though. I mean, to stockpile, I don't know that you want to stack it, but uh, yeah, and the glow. I don't think Glowing Fungus Soup stacks, because that used to be able to stack to like a million, but I don't, I don't think Glowing Fungus Soup stacks anymore either. Ripper. Yeah, Ripper. That should use gas as well. But because it's smaller, it should use less than the uh, less than the chainsaw or the auto axe. But I don't know. Those those would be. Can you imagine if you had to? Because <laughs> then you basically you'd have to stop and reload it. It wouldn't use AP. Although if it didn't use AP, then when you use it in vats, um, so it should. Well, then I guess it uses AP if you're using it in vats. But but yeah, can you imagine if it was if it was. Uh, I'm looking at the thing. It must be over here. I think it might have died already. Yeah, I think it might have died if that was it. I don't know. That would be interesting, though, because then you have to stop and reload it every once in a while. It would take, like, flamer fuel or something. Yeah, that'd be, kind of, that'd be interesting. I wouldn't mind. It was fantastic. You'd make a massive pile of stuff once in a while, and you could run ore with just one, 11 rad shield and rad rumble. Oh, wow. Nice. Never tried that. You think you'll get lucky and get a fixer plan for mutated party pack? I don't know. Um, do I think I'll get lucky? No. <laughs> I guess that's the answer. Do you think I'll get lucky? No. But even if I knew the fixer plan, I still have to get one as a random, as a from the purveyor. So, yeah. So even getting a fixer plan would be, it'd still be really unlikely that I'll ever have a fixer. But you never know. It could happen. Things happen. But yeah, asking if I think I'm gonna get lucky, the answer is pretty much always no. Think I'll get unlucky? Absolutely. From what you understood, you complete challenges, get new currency, exchange, or rewards, so no need to get or buy useless five stamps as a reward. Looks attractive. Oh, you're missing? No. Yes, exactly. You can give me 250 fi yeah, fixer plans. I still won't get what I want. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I mean, the difference is, so before, on the score, I mean, this, the way the scoreboard works is you, you earn score and you get a rank, and as soon as you get a rank, it unlocks that rank on the that item on the scoreboard, whatever the rank number that you've achieved. Now it's going to be you will get a rank, and you'll unlock sections of the scoreboard. And as you unlock ranks, you'll get tickets, and you use those tickets to buy things that you want from the various sections of not this. It's not a scoreboard, but the season board, whatever you want to call it. So. It's just, I guess, I think it's it's going to function largely the same. It's just going to be, it's going to look different. That's, I think that's really the main thing. It's just going to be different. The one area that's different is that if you don't have Fallout First, you can still get the Fallout First stuff by uh, just spending 1,500 atoms, and it gives you, like, this, the, what is it, the premium season pass, and then you can have the Fallout First stuff, so... That's, for me, that's a good change. I mean, I have Fallout First, so it doesn't affect me, but for people that don't have it and have... Because there are people that don't have Fallout First, but they have Atoms. So I think that's a good thing for people. More options. I think the new idea of scoreboard is just weird. And Well, apparently it's really similar to the way Fortnite does their battle pass. I don't play Fortnite, so I don't know, but people seem to like that. So I don't know. Only problem is they are copying for Oh, Fortnite. Yeah, exactly what you said. I don't see a problem with that. I mean... Here's the thing, if it's something that people like, and apparently the Fortnite Battle Pass is something that people like, I don't know, but that's what I've heard. So if people like that and they're copying something people like, I'm okay with that. Last page unlocks at level 150 and 95 season unlocks. Well, I think 150, that, that's like pass, well, actually, I don't know. Get a season pass for 15 bucks, which is even more stupid. Get first for 15 bucks. That's true, but that's for a month, right? But suppose, uh, um, if it's going to take you all season to unlock everything, then Fortnite isn't Fallout. That's true. Well, that, yeah, that's true. But, I mean, this really isn't Fallout either. This is something else. This is just some weird, uh, weird thing. Calls itself Fallout, but it's really... Uh... <laughs> I mean, this is... 
Once you play a single player Fallout, you come here, this doesn't really feel like a. It feels really different, so. Because what about Fallout and Battle Pass go together? Nothing is what I tell you. Uh, let's see. Over and cover. There we go. You can get first on last week of the season. Yeah, but I don't know. Yeah, and I don't know if they're doing the unlocks the same way. Because it almost sounds like you may have to. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Besides, some people earn free atoms, right? And never have to spend any money. So you don't necessarily spend 15 bucks. I mean, you can get atoms from challenges. You get atoms from the scoreboard. And not everyone spends their atoms. So if you have atoms that are just piling up, this is a great change. You actually have the option to get something that before would have cost you money. And now it doesn't. So, okay, this is <laughs> not inconvenient at all. All right, we're going to learn some combat shotgun mods. That's awesome. That's the thing. I mean, I'm not going to say incompetent or whatever. It's like people are making a judgment without seeing anything, and that's just dumb. It's like until it actually comes out and you've seen it, whether it's better or worse, to, to actually label it and freak out just because it's different, uh, that's just dumb. Don't do that. Budget playthrough, say goodbye to Fallout first. No, it's not that kind of budget. It's just the purveyor budget. The rules, if you want to know, exclamation rules, or it's in the description as well. All right, so we got a lot of mods, so hopefully that could... Let's see what we could do with the shotgun after this. Plus, I got a uh, couple, of, couple of levels, too. All right, cool. All right, let's go here, dump everything, and do the airport. I think we should be able to get to the airport okay. I want to go there sooner rather than later because my weapons are still at my level. So that's, I want to go while my, my weapons that match my enemy level. All right, what have we got here? We've got that I don't need. I don't need a missile launcher and a walkie key. There we go. Put that away. Do that. Probably should do something about my rads. I was going to put a... Uh, uh, Brahmin milk machine in my camp and I forgot so I'll probably do that at some point now. That's nothing. All right um, Why am I looking at my stash? I don't know. Oh I'm not I'm doing here. All right, let's see what we can do See the current version of it and the explanation they are giving now. It's 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 yeah Still until I see it, I'm not making uh, line log barrel perfect. Perfect. All right, I needed that. Uh, perforating. I think piercing is the one. That's faster reload speed. So I lose a little bit of armor penetration, but uh, you know what? I'm going to go for this. The AP cost... Oh, the AP cost drops down too. I'm going to go for that instead. Um, I don't really think I would change anything here. Let's look at the receivers. I'm not doing critical hits, but... Uh, severe receiver. That's extra... Yeah, we're just going to leave it. All right, we're good. We're golden. Let's do a, uh, this one. Oh, wait. Um, let me look at the build really quick. Shotgunner, basher. Okay, I don't have blocker. Oh, because I hit, I just hit level 20. Okay. I think I want to go for blocker, though. And... Action boy. Yeah, let's go for blocker. Give me some defense. That's what I want. New challenge, no fallout first. Um, oh, I only had one level up? I thought I was level 20. Oh, I must have leveled up from that event. Oh, okay, so I took a bunch of level ups. All right, let's do right away. I actually thought about doing a... Uh, and it was actually suggested by someone. It's something I had thought about doing, and it was actually suggested um, doing a oh, glowing meat. Um, you know, I'm going to cook this. Why not? Cook it and eat it. Hey, Tedium, welcome. You like Launch 76 better than... He does like... Oh, yes, he does very much. Oh, there's Snip. Yeah, he's the one who suggested What's the gear we get today? Oh, I'll tell you. I'll show you in a second. Yeah, Snip is the one that, suge that suggested this. I had it on my list already, but uh, I guess great minds. Uh, the Iron Man challenge, where basically you can't use your Fallout First tent. You can't store anything, so you can only use what you can carry. I like that idea. I think that would be a good challenge. All right, let's uh, let's see. Glow meat steak. Eat that. Eat that, and drink something. All right, let's sell some stuff and go to the airport. Well, that didn't really do much for my healing. Let's see. Do I have? Uh, I probably have nukas. 
Or I don't. All right. Um, what's my... Uh, I'll, le I'll level up and then I'll do it that way. If you buy the pass and don't have first, do you still get the extra challenges? I don't know how the challenges are going to work. So I don't... I actually don't know. It's one of those things where they haven't... I mean, that's part of the problem is they don't explain everything and they don't allow people... They don't make it so we can ask questions about it. And then they close the PTS like a month early. So there's a lot of... Um, I mean, they do leave themselves open by just giving us partial explanations of things. So I just don't know. Apart from bug fixes, you actually did enjoy the empty world more. I, will, I wish I could have done that. Like certain things about launch, 76 would feel overall it's a much better spot. It's probably in a better shape, but... I wish there was a way to go. I wish there was a mode. Like, I wish you had, like, uh, you know, beginning mode. And uh, I didn't even check to see if I have a suppressor. But, oh, well, I guess we won't. Oh, you want to see the gear. Okay, so here's our gear. We've got a uh, robot chest piece. It's weightless. It's not really useful. I mean, I guess I could sneak with it, but I don't have sneak weapons. I've got an overeater's light leather, leather arm. I've got a chameleon painted. Uh, well, painted, I did that. So a metal left arm. And then I have a uh, robot left leg. That's my gear. My weapons I have. The one I'm probably going to use exclusively is this uh, uh, Hunter's combat shotgun with extra critical damage. And damage resist while reloading. So I have that. And then I have a mutant submachine gun with VATS hit chance and bonus critical charge. But I don't really know any mods and I'm not mutated yet. So that's what I have. Hello, Gibson and Joe. Welcome, welcome. Deadly world of the OG 76. I would like, yeah. Have the old school with old school rules, you know, with the old school. Let's see. Can I jump up here? I cannot. Oh, well. <laughs> okay. All right. Yeah, so we're doing all right. Shotgun shells. Yeah, we should have more shotgun shells that we could stick a, shake a stick at. But what we're going to do is we'll probably loot uh, at least all the weapons and stuff. Because as we've seen, I don't know what I'm going to get. So learning mods is helpful. Um, there's one over there. But if they're not going to bug me, I'm just going to go right inside. Let's just get through this place. Gear can be... Oh, gear can be way worse. And it will be worse. I mean, as this goes along, as I level up, it will get worse. So, I mean, leveling slowly is my friend in this thing, for sure. All right, we're going first person, and we're just running and gunning. Since we're not sneaking, this is actually... We're actually doing okay. I mean, as long as we're able to one-shot everything, that's pretty good. <laughs> Enjoy it while it lasts. Uh, let's see. Shotgun shells. Okay, I have enough shotgun shells. I think what I'll do is I'll start looting with the... Uh, oh, combat shotgun. Perfect. Although, for the most part, I know the mods I need, so... Oh, and I have... Uh, oh, I have scrounger, I think. Which is good. All right. Try and pick up 10 mil ammo here and there. Let's see how this works, how good this is. Yeah, not as good as a shotgun. Terrible. I mean, the ammo capacity is... Oh, that reload is slow. Yeah, we're using the shotgun. <laughs> That's just not going to work. We're using the shotgun. Shotguns early levels are overpowered. Yes. Funny how Duchess kept her padded wall chain half dungeon upstairs in the wayward after all the renovations. Yes. <laughs> Mr. Three, king of the mesanthropes. There you go. Okay. Fallout 76 was a survival game. Now it's not. Yeah, I agree with that. It's definitely not a survival game. It's funny. I remember hearing an interview with Todd Howard. It was after I started playing. And he said Fallout 76 was a survival game. And I went, uh, no. Not the version I'm playing. It's not. And Company T. So luckily Company T is keeping us. It's going to take care of everything. And those, yeah, the reload's on. Uh, with this, with the, uh, with that receiver, I'm much better. And I got a level up. Perfect. All right, I think. Killed everything in this area, so let's loot everything. I'm glad there are workbenches. Oh, it's upstairs. I'm glad there are workbenches as we go, which is really nice. Another thing that's different between this and Fallout 4. When you're over encumbered in Fallout 4, you start taking damage. Can you imagine what that would be like in this game? Oh, <laughs> people would cry. Wish the 10 mil... Yeah, I wish... Uh, you mean the sub? Yeah, I wish the sub was better. It's it's not. It's just not a good gun. It could be. I mean, it's... You can make it sort of good with perfect rolls and a perfect build, but if you're not perfect, uh, it's not going to work. Ways. All right. Uh, that could be it. That's not it. Oh, fast. Okay, that's two. It's got to be this. There we go. 
when they kill the survival mechanics and food drink requirements. Yeah, that was a thing. And that happens shortly after. I mean, that was one wasteland, I think, is when they took that away. By the way, from what they're saying and what a YouTuber said about the new season so far, you, if you're a non file at first and you want to get the items off the board, it's cheaper to get. It's just different. It depends. Ariel Sato, hello, hello. Uh, it's just different. I Honestly, I would be very careful with uh, it because people don't know, right? There's a lot of speculation. We've gotten some information on it, but not a full thing. So I would be very hesitant to take anything that anybody says as gospel. Because there's a lot of, I mean, there is information out there, but there's a lot of guessing and filling in the blanks. So my advice would be to reserve judgment until until it's actually time. Because it doesn't really matter. I mean, it's going to be what it's going to be. So uh, what we think or what we guess, not going to affect what it is. Fallout first for a month and pay for the season pass. Uh, well, if you have Fallout first, then you don't need to pay for that. I mean, the season pass is part of Fallout first. So... You can, but you can get the season pass separately. That's a thing. So, and you can get it with Adams, which I think is an improvement. So, I mean, I do think, I do think there are parts of it that are definite improvements. Other parts of it are, are a question mark, but. Come here, come here. Yeah, the shotgun's doing all right. Yeah, if I can one shot stuff, that is a good thing. <clears throat> Don't need another survival game. Real life scratches that particular itch. <laughs> Half of the perks of the game are useless now because they were, yeah. Yeah, there's a lot of, uh, there's a lot of perks that just don't do anything in the game. They're just, they're just kind of there. All right, let's do that over there. That should light a fire and kill some things, maybe. Or it'll kill nothing and won't light. Oh, there we go, there's the fire. I think I killed something. So, yeah, this is doing the job. Oh, he's the boss. He's legendary, but he won't have any legendary items on him because reasons, right? Oh, arist arist aristocrats baseball. All right, so this was easy. Shot so far. Shotgun is winning. Shotgun is. Uh, let's see. We got a thing here, and more combat. I should know all the combat. Oh, another handmade, which is good. If I ever get a handmade, that would be nice. <clears throat> What guns and armor did I get for the stream? I got, I got, well, the one I'm using, I got, a, I got this, not this. I got uh, the mutants uh, submachine gun, 10 millimeter. I won't be using it. It's terrible. I mean, I just don't have the build for it. So I've got this combat shotgun. It's hunters with critical damage and damage resist while reloading. My armor is, uh, let's see, I've got a robot left leg. It's aristocrat. It's a chameleon metal arm, which is not that great. Uh, an overeater's right arm. So I've got a couple of plus one perception pieces, which is helpful with my VATS hit chance. And I got a weightless robot chest piece. <clears throat> Managed to watch Mondays late this afternoon. Oh, so you're caught up. Good. A way to return to those older versions of... Yeah, I agree. I would love to be able to return. I mean, I never did the... I mean, I didn't play when it first started. So I would love to have the option to go through and... Uh, Let's see, I guess I'll take all of the, I'll just take everything. Why not? I'll do the Mr. Epos way. Let's see, there is, I can open this. Remove all human NPCs and replace essential NPCs with bots. Oh, bots though. The bots in this game are just super annoying. So, yeah, I don't know. But sort of the, I mean, the, I guess I wouldn't mind it if the human NPCs were less annoying, but they're just not, uh, they're not fun. Okay, I want a hollow, what is she doing? Yeah, speaking of annoying NPCs, Overseer is one of those. Yes, uh, I'm swimming in shotgun shells, which is uh, to be expected. Caps. I'll take caps. I'll take 10 mil ammo. Maybe I'll get a good 10 mil pistol at some point. Um, let's see here. Um, do I have stuff to scrap? Uh, oh, I have that. All right, let's go over here. I have that. All right, let's go to my tent and then we'll go to the event. How about that? I didn't mean to rhyme. Took hours to get a thousand rounds and go to queen fight and spend all your rounds and didn't take down the queen. Yeah, there's that. I was there all the way back for the first Xbox stress test and boy, that game was stressed. Yes. And what world's update should you, sh it's what world's update should have been. So yeah, worlds, yeah, worlds are, they're okay for testing other than, and even then they're only okay because you don't have enough options. Like if you had a console way to span, to spawn in, 
Like if I go into my shelter and I could spawn in specific enemies, that would make world so much better, so much more useful for testing. But the way they have it is just kind of, it's half baked and they haven't done anything with it. Really? I mean, we get the same, don't we get the same rotation when they do the public ones? It's like the same rotation. It's always been, uh, the options are limited. So it's not, yeah, it's not great. All right. Well, we're just like right here, just down the street from where I am. I could walk there. <clears throat> Different, but created modes. Remember ammo legendary perk was a must have now. We, yeah, exactly. Now it's just, yeah. <laughs> Used to need it, but now with caught with, uh, with the uh, contextual ammo, you don't need to craft all that often or ever depending. I mean, it depends on what you run, right? Like with the right weapons, you never have, I mean, if you run shotguns, you never have to craft ever. If you're crafting ammo with shotguns, you're doing something really wrong. Is all I have to say. You're never looting. Because if you just loot once in a while, I mean, loot like one out of every 10 enemies and you'll still gain ammo with shotguns. Human NPCs aren't any less annoying. No, bots are humans. Ah, yeah, I don't know. Just get rid of all of them. Use worlds for level up challenge when you're lazy. Ah, okay. Hey, Hermos, welcome, welcome. I use worlds pretty much the only time I use them, not for challenges, I use them for testing. And even then it's not very often anymore. I mean, I've made a few videos on custom worlds when I want to do like a weapon video on like a specific legendary combination. And I, I don't like doing that. I mean, I stopped doing it because I, it's like, you know what? I don't want to do weapon videos for weapons that I don't actually have. So yeah, so I don't, I haven't used a custom world. It's, it's really rare. I may go to check something. I may use it before I like roll legendary. I'll be like, is this weapon worth rolling legendary effects on? So I'll go to a custom world and do it that way. And that way it tells me, okay, yes, it's worth it or no, it's not. And if it's worth it, then I can actually spend my uh, my modules in reality. But uh, pressure release, I'm not there. Someone else? No, all right, I'll go over there. <laughs> sure, I was, I was the closest one. Shotgun normally throws shells on the floor in a container. Oh, yes, yes. I mean, when I'm playing, like if I'm playing my shotgunner all the time, I am putting 500 to 1,000 shotgun shells in my in my stash probably every day that I play. Maybe even more than that. Depends on what I do. Like if I if I go to uh, like a daily op or something, yeah, I'm gonna get a lot. But yeah, shotgun shells and arrows are kind of the same way. Plasma cores or not plasma plasma cartridges are kind of that way too. So like depending on what you use, some I mean the contextual is so much. It's it's just insane. Never played Nuclear Winter, but so regret it now. Oh, yes. I wish Nuclear Winter was still... I mean, that was so much better, and, and it got so much... Like, here's the thing. Like, I go to my friends list, right? Well, I mean, this isn't a good test because nobody's playing the game right now, <laughs> but usually what would happen is there'd be a lot of people that would show up as in Nuclear Winter, right? I never see people in... Well, I see people in Custom Worlds once in a while. It's usually like Angry Turtle. Like, he'll be in Custom World testing. Other than that, I don't really ever see people in Custom Worlds. Um, and in the public custom worlds, whatever they're called, uh, I guess I can't see it from the game. I never see anybody in those. I'm sure there are people. I've never been in one. I've only gone to the customs that I've done. I've never done a curated one. So I don't, I don't know. Get too many and become heavy. Yes. Luckily, shotgun shells really aren't that heavy. So you can, I, my shotgunner runs without bandolier. So, because I just don't need it. I usually run a thousand to fifteen hundred shotguns and shells, and that's fine. Dude doesn't want to give up his sniper position. Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> you enjoyed Nuclear Winter, but you didn't enjoy the score challenge. No, I didn't like the score challenges either. But they eventually got rid of those. If it wasn't for score, I probably never would have tried it. I mean, that was why I tried Nuclear Winter. Was uh, we got a score challenge to to you know survive five minutes or something. And eventually, I got to the point where I was playing with people, and I'm like, this is actually really fun. If you're playing with people, it wasn't any fun for me to go in and play with random people that weren't on a microphone and, you know, not talking to you. That's not fun. And they all spawn in different places like that, you know, that uh, repair the pipe. Well, hopefully someone will do that. I'm not the closest to that. There we go. But yeah, if it wasn't for score, I don't know that I ever would have tried it, but I loved it and I wish it was still a thing. Why not a private nuclear world option? I don't know. I'm the right. I don't know. I, I mean, there's a lot of why. Why not? Why this? Why? I mean, I think part of the problem is the people who came up with the custom worlds are not probably don't work here anymore. <laughs> and so they're, uh, you know, they, 
they probably had an idea of a direction they wanted to take it, and then they're not around anymore. So, yeah, I think that I, that's a guess, but it's kind of how it feels like. Played a bunch solo for fun. I tried the solo thing, and for me, being on mic with people and talking to them while I was playing was what made it fun. Because I tried by myself, and it just, I could do a match or two, and it just, I just didn't enjoy it. Gilly Sue got you into it. Yeah, and a lot of people got into it for the paints and whatever, all the special rewards you got. I never cared about those, which is why I never took a character up. I never got up to level 100 on a character. I took, I think, three or four over level 50, and uh, then I would just switch over to another character because I didn't like... Because the build that you had, like, your special allocation in the game is what transferred Nuclear Winter, and it didn't count Legendary Specials. And so I kept going, okay, eventually I had a character that was suited for the way I wanted to play. And so, yeah, I think I got to level 80 on a character was, like, the highest, something like that. Didn't care for having to eat and drink and went back to Fallout 4 and you got 76. Ah, okay, yeah. Fallout 4, I, I tell you, I mean, it's still a, it's, it's such a good game. I got to say, there's stuff in there that's way better than, uh, I mean, like the mods thing. To me, that's kind of weird, the way that they did the mods. Let's see, I'm going to dump my stuff here and then go, because I still have to do the, go around the back of the airport. The way that, you know, in Fallout 4, if you found a gun that had, say, a suppressor on it, like a 10 mil pistol, you could take the suppressor off and put it on your 10 mil pistol. I kind of miss that way. And why doesn't Starfield do that? Like, I don't understand why Starfield isn't that way. They already have that mechanic, and I think it's fantastic. Uh, that way you can actually run with that. If you want, you can run without investing in gun nut and it's great. You can actually, I mean, I actually like to run it that way because to me, gun nut is, is not immersive. So if you're run, if it's like, all I have to do is take a rank and I know how to craft all these gun parts. So I like to play immersive where it's like, well, I can figure out how to use a screwdriver and take off this site, you know, this reflex site off this gun and put it on this other gun. Like I can figure that out. So I like running without gun nut just as an immersion thing. Obviously, you can't do that in uh, Starfield because the guns are modded how they're modded. So, and in this game, well, this game is completely different. So, you were ranked 90 on it and took a break when they announced it was closing. You didn't have it in you. Yeah, I stopped playing about six months before they announced it was closing. And once they announced, I mean, I kind of thought that was going to happen anyway at some point just because, I mean, it was never, it was always in beta, right? Like, it never left beta. So, the fact that it never left beta, I thought was very telling that eventually it was just going to get dropped. And yeah, so I never went back even once they announced it. Oh, I guess I already put the bat in there. All right, let's go around the back. Shoot some more scorched. And I guess I don't need a suppressor right now. I could just run and gun with this, which is kind of how I like to play shotguns. I, I don't. You can sneak with shotguns and be really deadly, but I, I kind of like the run and gun aspect. Plus, I like looking at this guy's armor. It's fun. Uh, maybe someone's already been here. Feels like things are dead. Okay, you're not dead. That worked out. Yeah, this is so far. Shotgun, pipe rifle. If it's a weapon, I want to pick it up. It's kind of the way I'm uh, living my life at the moment, at least for this character. If it's a weapon, I want to pick it up. I want to loot it. I want to learn, uh, learn the mods. Yeah, someone's been here through here. There's not as much living activity as there normally would be. At some point, I'm thinking I want to spec into critical hits, but it's early for that anyway, since those perks really aren't available. Yeah, so far I'm doing okay dealing with... Uh, is there another one? There's usually one up here, up top. Maybe not. All right. We're golden. All right, someone's been through here. So what's the... Uh, is it in here? Final departure? Yeah, that's it. Go in this one, this next one, I think. And this can collision course will pop, which I have no interest in doing. Oh, Andrew Cottrell left the team. Too bad. Oh, it's upstairs. Upstairs. I wish they gave up, up, down indicators. There we go. It's a really nice shoddy. Try it out. See what you think. Oh, Hermos, what did he say about a shoddy that he got? What did I miss? Oh, a quad explosive double barrel with 50% uh, durability. Oh, that's really good, Hermos. Sorry, I, I didn't see your message. Yes, uh, quad explosive, that's actually, I actually have one. Mine's faster reload, but I have that quad explosive part. Durability on, on, on double barrels is really weird for some reason. They seem to never break or almost never break. So that durability me, it'll just last forever. But yeah, that's actually pretty fun. It's not as good as a cold shoulder, but it's actually, I think, better for tagging. There we go. Game is a simulator for Fallout or a holotape game. Nuclear oh, nuclear strike. Hello, Cookie Crisp. Welcome, welcome. All right, we're going to do the inoculation progress. I did that. I should get a uh, Somerset special. For your 
All right, where are we going? This is the first nuke for this character, I think. See if I can, uh, let's see here. Food, I didn't hotkey my food. Uh, let's see, let's just do, company he's good. Let's do glowy meat steak and purified water. There we go, all right, where are we going? Probably the queen, I'm guessing. Yep, there we go, Whew. That is uh, close right there. Wonder if a mysterious stranger playthrough would be doable, like get the squirt gun so you do no damage and make him do the work. Um, I think that would probably suck. <laughs> File departure. Oh yeah, you can get. The, you can also get the forest camo jumpsuit, so I should do that. I should. Well, now nah. it's not that fun though. I just don't enjoy it. I actually got a, for that part. I just completed. I actually got one of my forest camo jumpsuits from that. From from uh, doing the inoculation. Uh, on the computer thing. Oh, level six. Now they're higher levels, so. Now they're like, yeah, your shotgun has no power on us. That's just true. I, I think a mysterious, uh, mysterious stranger perk would be, it just isn't that strong. It would be really frustrating. It would take forever. Like, what am I, sh cause don't you have to have a, so yeah, yeah. Cause you have to have a successful hidden vats. Squirt gun, you don't have to worry about ammo. I think it would suck. I think it'd be really tedious, to be honest. I don't think it'd be fun. Hey, sweetie. Welcome, welcome. How you doing? Would take a long time with, yeah. He doesn't show up too often. No, and he doesn't, he doesn't do that much damage. I mean, at low levels, it's fine, but for, you know, for, uh, oh, it's a raider? There we go. What does he have that I can use? So, yeah, I don't think I would try that. I, I mean, that's kind of like, a, for, I mean, at first I'm like, oh, that sounds kind of interesting, but as I think about it, Anytime I've used Mysterious Stranger, he just isn't, especially against higher level stuff, he just doesn't do enough damage. So, got a Gourmand's Explosive Handmade, and the third star is Ghost, useless effect. Yeah, although Gourmand's Explosive is decent. I mean, that'll that'll kill plenty of stuff, that's for sure. Looks like you're getting Explosive as your uh, secondary star today. Yeah, it feels like it's not too crowded here. I'm guessing that a lot of people are just not playing right now. I kind of thought when Foshnot ended, more people would start playing, but uh, it's like, well, we got mutated events. They're way better than Foshnot. Get a mutated party pack. Um, you get the same chance at a rare mask as you do in Foshnot, zero. So there's that. Haven't used him in 76, don't know what he's capable of. No, and three, he goes to town. On this, he's 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 so-so. Like, if you're against low-level enemies, he'll kill them. But against higher-level stuff, he'll just distract them. I mean, he'll do damage, but it's just not that much. Like, I just find him... He's more of a distraction than anything else. Yeah, I can't. Uh, he needs to land for me to do... To do stuff. Responder, police uniform, patrol, yeah. Cop cap, none of that's... None of that's amazing. Is she gonna land? Can we, uh, oh, wait. I don't have any cribble perks, though. And I can't hit her. I, I need bats hit chance or something, so. Yeah, I can't, uh, I can't do a cripple. I need her to land, otherwise this is just a waste of time. There she goes, she's gonna land. Nope, yes, maybe. Oh. Yeah, my AP cost is, uh... We'll see if I do enough damage. Oh, I'm taking a lot of rads. Oh, that's just from her. Reload. The stagger's awesome. Reload, damn it. <laughs> like, reload's taking all day. Okay. Yeah, I have no idea. Didn't feel like I got that many hits in. At all. All right. Uh, yeah, my rads won't go away because I don't have uh, I don't have that cool perk. Let's see here. Let's do a rad X and a rad away. That should help. Oh, I have stim packs too. Let's do a super stim pack. Yes, let's do that. Perfect. Seen him three shot super mutant masters, which takes me forever to kill. Otherwise, really. All right. Uh, oh, in, in Fallout 3, yeah. In Fallout 3, it was a good perk. In previous Fallouts, it was a good perk. In this game, like I said, I think he's more of a distraction than anything else. I don't actually think he's useful for killing stuff. 
So having a playthrough where you have to rely on him to kill stuff 100%, I have no idea if we're in a nuke zone, but... Uh... Wow, my AP drained. Even though I wasn't shooting, just being in VATS while I got staggered drained my AP. It's come back really slow. Got the 0% hit chance thing. Oh. This fight could be really frustrating for uh, a non... Uh, okay. I leveled up. I have no idea if I got enough XP, if I got enough hits in to, uh... There you go. I can kill stump stuff. Level 25. And I got disease because something looked at me. Stop it. I, I have no idea what that was. That was a different looking kind of message. What did I get? More than treasury notes? We'll see. Nope. I didn't get enough damage in, so that's all I got. Was that stuff? Notice that reloads are slowing in third person. Also, heavy weapons fail to auto-reload in third person, too. Oh, okay. Um, I don't know. I mean, that's how I normally play shotguns in third person. I don't have issues. Uh, once I have speed demon, that'll help. Uh, that should... Uh, well, so much for that. <laughs> so much for... I'm glad that cop uniform wasn't... Uh, or the uh, cop cap, I guess, wasn't... Uh, <laughs> wasn't a rare thing. Because if it was, I'd be crying right now. All right, uh, sun am I wearing sunglasses? Come on, am I wearing, I'm not wearing sunglasses. Let's put on some sunglasses. There we go. And no outfits, we're doing an outfit free run. Uh, I'll put that away and that away and all of these things. Apparel, there we go. Um, ammo. Oh, this one doesn't have an ammo box. All right, never mind. Let's go somewhere where we have an ammo box. We can sell stuff and... Uh, oh, we have Moonsh oh, Moonshine Jamboree. You know what? We're going to go here first. Since that lasts forever. <clears throat> Don't always use mutations. I notice a lot more without Speed Demon. Oh, Speed Demon's noticeable. If you're not having it, you notice it. So, should have gotten double XP. Yes, I agree, Hermos. Double XP during uh, Fajnod is just bad. That, that wasn't... Uh, they weren't doing us any favors. I mean, Fajnod is not a good XP event. It's like, hey, do you want to go do XP stuff or do you want to do Fashnot? So, yeah, that was that was not really a gift. That was bad. Let's see. Glowing blood, glowing meat. Yeah, I'm just getting rid of meat because it piles up so quickly. And if I can have canned meat stew, which is good. I don't need alcohol, plasma grenades. I don't need any of this stuff. There we go. That's a lot better. Let's do a can. What? Do I have a disease? Is it the blight? Oh, sh oh, that was going on. That's what was happening. Uh, disease. Ooh. Antibiotics. All right. We'll do that. And canned meat stew. There we go. All right. Let's go uh, Jamboree some moonshine. People are trying to claim your settlement. Well, that's not fun. Why are they trying to claim your settlement? Double script should have been during Fosh and double XP. No, I think they should have run them both together. I mean, think about it this way. If you get double script and double XP at the same time, that's that's the perfect combination. It's like, well, I have double XP, so I want to play more, uh, and I don't want to get script out. So I think having it both at the same time is much better than having Moon or having Fosh not with either one of them. I mean, even for the West Tech grinders, you'll get a lot of... Uh, You'll get a lot of uh, legendaries that way, right? So, all right, I'm just going to do this. I'm not shy. I do love a good they want your medals, probably. Oh, because you have oh, because you have an extractor? I Come on. Oh, we're waiting for it to start. All right. Ooh, nukas. I'll take these nukas, though. I'm going to take all this lead as well. I. You never know when I may have to craft ammo or something else. So, yes, I will take all of these cans. Because you just never know this character. Hello, Steve. I'm waving in my head. I'll wave to you when I get the... Uh, when I learn how to wave. There we go. All right. Let's do this. Let's light this candle. That's not how you do it. He's going to throw a Molotov at it. That's not going to help. Hey, Helmet. Welcome. Double XP and Meat Week together was pretty... Yeah, I remember that. Double XP and Meat Week. Yeah. Problem with Meat Week is it just dominates, right? Like when that goes for two weeks and you've got the, uh, um, oh, the primal cuts, like constantly, like no, oh, they're resilient. All right, that's that's a thing. I don't have a melee weapon, so boom. 
got an eviction, so you're away from your settlement. Ah, okay. Yeah, that's what I'm hoping for. I want to get an eviction notice. That'll help me with- that'll give me... I mean, that'll give me a couple of streams worth of script, at least, so... Then I'll be set, probably, the rest of the way, because I'll be so far ahead. Although, with mutated party packs and whatever, I should be in good shape anyway. With the 500. Do that. Alright. We're doing okay. Oh, I'm level 12. Oh, and I hit a level up, too. I probably should look at that at some point. I keep forgetting. There we go. I'm tough. I could bash an angler to death. Maybe I'll hit level 30. Actually, what do I need? I need level 31. And then I can do starch genes and I can do mutations. And I, Speed Demon is one that I'm going to use. So that will help. Uh, where are we? Yeah. I don't... Uh, <laughs> I don't seem to be doing a ton of damage. And I'm hunters too. That should... Although... Our... Uh, our gulpers, are they considered animals? Are they are they part of the mar no they They would be under hunters, right? I think. I think they'd be considered animals. I'm guessing, so the hunters prefix should do more damage against them. I don't actually know. Because I don't tend to go for <laughs> enemy specific stuff, but it wasn't up to me today. Or ever, so. Did I hear something? I did. Maybe I'll have to look at Enforcer. I wonder what level... Anyone know what, what, what level Enforcer kicks in? That could actually be pretty useful. At least, like, rank 1. I'll have to look at that and see if... Uh, I don't know when Enforcer kicks in. It may be a higher level perk than where I'm at. Come on. There you go. Pretty sure they're animals. I think so, too. Like, I don't know what else they would be. They wouldn't be Meyer Lurks and Bugs. So, because that was what I was thinking at first was uh, Meyer Lurks and Bugs, but that's not going to be right. So, yeah, probably animals, I'm thinking. Oh, Enforcer is level 32? Oh, okay. Well, that's a conflict because I'm going to take uh, um, the other one. I'm taking Starch Jeans before I take Enforcer. Speed Demon is uh, super helpful. That'll make those those reloads much quicker. Plus, I'll be using... What am I going to take? I don't remember which ones I, I have. Probably um, Bird Bones and uh, Eagle Eye. So that'll help as well with uh, Vat's Hit Chance and AP. So And Herd Mentality, that's another one. So that'll be beneficial. Abominations. Yeah, but Abominations aren't a thing, right? Like, that doesn't... Um, you know, that's not a legendary. There's, like, no Abomination Killer or Abomination Slayer per prefix, so. I'm assuming they fit into something. I mean, I'm assuming they count as animals, but, uh, I'm just spraying and praying at this point. Give me some XP that way. They are aquatic. They are aquatic, right? They're salamanders, but I don't know, again... They're not Mirelurks or Bugs, right? So I'm guessing animals, but uh-oh. Greedy Bear got, uh, he got poisoned. So if I had to guess, I would guess that they're animals. Doesn't feel like it, though. It's not like, I don't feel like I'm doing, uh, even though they're tanky, I'm, I don't feel like I'm getting bonus damage against them. So I don't know. But I'm getting some good levels here. So we're at wave two of four. And how's the Venom? We're okay. We're halfway on the Venom. Yeah, anglers are good to tag. They're worth a lot of XP. Yeah, I mean, that doesn't feel... That just feels like normal damage. And that reload feels so painfully slow. I'll let the people with the chainsaws do it. Might be the same as Mirelurks. Yeah, I don't know. It's possible that they that they count for the same thing. I don't know. It's a question I have, but uh, unfortunately, I don't have any way to get an answer. Oh, he's legendary. One star, so that's something. Uh, 27. All right, we're making progress. Maybe we get to level... Well, probably not level 30 during the event, but... Be able to get somewhere. I'll find out somewhere. Data Miner's Discord is the is the place to ask that question. Fortunately, I can't do that at the moment. I'll do that later if I remember. Outstanding work, Moonshiners. I 
As always, thank you very much to the people who are dropping off acidic gulper venom. Twenty-seven. Yeah, we're doing all right. I mean, on the one hand, I don't want to level up too quickly because <laughs> my gear is stuck at level twenty for the duration. But at the same time, uh, getting more useful perks is a good thing. Yeah, I think the perks I'm. Ch oh, let's see. I can do fireproof. I need some generalist perks as well. So I've got what two rank or one rank of blocker. So I'll probably do... Yeah, I don't know. It's hard to know what to do, right? Some things I want, though, because I pretty much always want blockers. So I think I'll probably take that up at least to rank two, maybe rank three. Probably want fireproof, I would say, just uh, for that explosion damage. Or explosion protection, rather. Um, yeah, we'll see. I completely agree with you, Gibson. That makes perfect sense. That is a valid, uh, valid point. Let's see. Ooh, we're getting close to that 28. Yeah, if this is one of those, I'm kind of glad it's not double XP because this could be really painful. Because <laughs> I would definitely hit level 50 uh, today and then my gear, of course, then the rest of the way, then my gear is going to be at my level, which is kind of nice. I got to say, because then as I progress through the, you know, the, the stream, I no longer have to worry about, uh, or I don't, yeah. Like right now, leveling is good and bad. Whereas once I hit le level 50, it's it stops being good and bad. It just is a thing. It's actually good because the more perks I get, the better. I still have not allocated any, any legendary perks because I don't know what I'm going to do. I may end up doing a bunch of specials. I may do, I may do what rats. That could be convenient. I don't know. In New Vegas, death claws and tunnelers are listed as abominations. Funnily enough, Mr. House is also considered... Yeah, I've seen Mr. House. I would agree with that. He does feel like an abomination or does look like one. Tunnelers. Oh, man. Tunnelers are the worst. I know everyone's all about, you know, Cazadors are so bad, and I agree. Tunnelers. Like, to me, that's like the worst enemy in Vegas, in New Vegas, is tunnelers. I hate them. They're so... They freak me out. They're just... Yeah. Not a, I'm not a tunneler fan. I'm anti-tunneler. I'm racist against tunnelers. And I'm glad they don't make an appearance in any other Fallout. I remember watching, I think it was a Miniatruner. I don't know if it was Miniatruner. It was somebody. I was watching him play Rust, and tunnelers were in Rust, and oh man. Or, or is it Dust? Or maybe, it, I guess it's Dust, the mod for New Vegas. And tunnelers in that mode are just, oh, I mean, they're bad enough anyway, but in that mode, they're, uh, they're, they're just downright nasty. Yeah, Kazdors are super easy when you found out. Yeah, when you cripple their wings, once you get to the point you can cripple their wings, uh, yeah, and you got adequate sneak that you could take them out from a distance, they stop being a problem. Tunnelers were one of those things, they just kind of, once, once you knew about them, it was too late kind of thing. Greedy bear keeps dying. Stay out of the poison. Yeah, dust to me didn't look the least. I mean, so I watched Fallout 4 Frost quite a bit of it, and it looks interesting. I don't know that I would ever do it, but it looks interesting enough that I'm that I could be tempted, right? Dust? No, dust. It to me, I didn't find the least bit tempting to play. It just looked unpleasant. Just kind of for the. To me, dust felt like dark and grim, just for the sake of being dark and grim. But Frost looks really interesting. It's probably won't ever play it though. Where are we at? 29, all right, one more level and uh... Look at that, bashed him, not a problem. Played through Frost for a while, spent like three hours just getting outside. Yes, that if you do the opening area, like the one I've seen, I know there's a lot of start areas, but the one in like the subway tunnels, that one is, uh, it's like everywhere you go, people want to, yeah, it's, it looks brutal, but at the same time, it looks really, like you really have to be strategic and people that play, that don't think in those terms, because I remember Miniatrueneur did that. 
where you start in the tunnels is the tra in the train station. Yeah. And I remember um, when Minion Tuner did it, he was never putting points into like survival stuff, which is key to that mode, as near as I can tell. It's like, uh, any I'll just take all this, whatever. It's all just junk. Little bit of XP, we'll take it. Perfect. All right, where are we at? Level 29. Okay, not quite yet. Uh, but he kept taking perks that weren't survival. Like, you have to take, it's like a hunter's perk or something, where if you don't take that perk, you can't get meat off of animals. And food is a big deal in that game. So it, it was kind of funny watching him, you know, struggle and then not take, you know, not take the perks that would actually help him. He was just, yeah, he took just terrible perks in that mode. I don't think he finished the whole thing. He played it enough, though. But that was the first time I saw Frost. I've seen other people do it since, but that was the first time I saw Frost and had heard of it. It was like, that actually looks really interesting, and he seems like he's doing it really wrong. Hope he revisits someday since it's been up. I would like to see that. I don't know that he will, but you never know. I mean, he does... He, he's always doing Fallout stuff. Like, he always seems to have some sort of Fallout going on his channel, so... I would like to see him do that again. <laughs> Come on, there we go. But uh, I'm just coming down here trying to put down a tent. Maybe, there we go. Yeah, I would like to see that. I didn't care, like I watched his Tale of Two Wasteland. At the end of the day, I didn't really, it wasn't what I was expecting. Uh, I didn't, I didn't, Think it was all that fun. Honestly, one of my favorite things that he's done Fallout related was when he did the worst courier. If you ever saw that, where he basically was level one and he went and did, uh, yeah, that was, I thought that was a really good one. Let's see. I need to go and sell some stuff. We'll do that here. Gold per innards. In Frost, you can go to Grey Garden and a few plants are sticking out of the well. Oh, cool. All right. Yeah, Frost is, uh, I mean, it looks really interesting, but it looks, man, it does not look easy. I never looked at Frost and went, you know what? That looks really easy. Angler meat. Yeah, I should cook all the meat, but I'm not going to. I know I could cook all the gulper innards and get some XP, but I'm not going to. Uh, I'm okay with leveling slowish. Um, do I have like a mountain of stim packs or something? Oh, I have a few. I'm going to... I'll store... Oh, let's see. I don't need all this. Actually, I don't know. I might. Let's get rid of the regular Rad X. And we'll do, like, some of that. I'm going to store some stim packs since they're heavy. Do I have Traveling Pharmacy? I don't have Traveling... Oh, I do have Traveling Pharmacy. Do I have Rank 3? Oh, I only have Rank 2. You know what? I think we're going to do Rank 3 of Traveling Pharmacy. Yeah, we'll do that, and we'll do Blocker. Uh, where are we? I keep going right by. There we go. Dust is basically a terrible, terrible edgy fan fiction that was written by Ulysses. <laughs> it's, uh, yeah, it's, oh, what? let's see. What do I have here? We have that. Sturdy frame, bandolier, crack shot, commando, fire in the hole, through hiker. Um, uh, I'm good with that. Oh, Basher. I don't need... Let's take out Basher and put in Bandolier. Yeah, that'll be better. Um, let's do another rank of Blocker. We're being pretty defensive on this one so far. Blocker. Nifty 9X. Welcome to the world. All right. So how many level ups? I still have five perks. Jeez. Um, yeah, let's do... Jeez, what should I do? This is, uh, it's tough to decide what to do. Uh, let's see, we've got Concentrated Fire, we've got, uh, uh, let's see, Inspirational, Intelligence, Gunsmith is fine. Sneak? Let's do that, let's do Sneak, just so I have some agility. I mean, I don't really care about Sneaking today, but this is a kind of an all-purpose good perk that'll give me some agility, so I like that. More AP is a good thing, especially when using something like this shotgun which has a high AP cost. All right, we've got that. Uh, let's see here. So we've got Sneak. We've got one rank of Born Survivor, which seems like it's enough. Strength has two on your, oh, Blocker. 
Uh, we've got two level ups left. What about, f okay, let's do, wait, do I, am I using fire? Oh, that was, that's being shared. Um, I think I want to do fireproof though. Yeah, let's do fireproof. We'll take a couple of ranks of that. If you have fully modded hollow rifle or shotgun with the right perks, tunnelers become a cakewalk. All right, good to know. I don't know that I'll ever play New Vegas again. It's it's one of those things I played it a lot, but I don't know. I I it's not one that I really get a desire to go back to. I played it a lot, and it's just not. Uh... All right, we've got that. All right, so we've got all this stuff. We've got uh... our weight is what our weight? Oh, seventy six. All right, that's not bad. Uh, let's see, food and drink. Drink some of those nukas and probably refresh. Oh, that's what we don't want. Glowy meat steak. Perfect. Okay. Where are we as far as the main quest goes? Or should we do hunter for hire? You know what? Let's do that one. Let's do the wayward thing. That's a, that's a good one to do as well. So we got as far as anchor farm, but we didn't talk to the people. So we'll do that. Play New Vegas enough over the years that you think you won't go back to it for at least five years. I don't know that I'll go back. I mean, the last time I played New Vegas, I think, was right before. I want to say it was right before I started playing this. So it was Wastelanders. So we're like four years ago. I think that was the last time I played it. I think. Um, Yeah. It's not one that I usually have a desire to go back to. It's not like, oh, let's uh, milk some Brahmin. What is my cap situation? Because I wanted to get that... Uh... Of course, I could take workshops too. I know you have a chance from workshops to get the uh, fusion generator. Because I did buy that... Uh... Oh, I have that mutated party pack. Yeah, I may just save those. Pocketed leather armor. All right. Because I got that new generator, but you need the fusion one to actually put it down. And I don't have the fusion plan on this character. I've been... S okay, come on. There we go. Space up the road. Maybe you Campy, can't welcome. Go. Recently saw a comment saying that using sneak perk when your agility is above 20 is pointless because you reached a cap. Is that true or BS? I think it's BS. I don't think it's 20. I think it's... It, no, it, that's I could. That's BS. <laughs> How about that? I mean, there is a point where if your agility is high enough, but I think it's way higher than 20. You probably need more like... If, you have, if your agility is like you know, with unyielding or whatever, if you're up in the high 40s, low 50s, that might be high enough, but I don't think 20 is, is um, that's just kind of anecdotal from experience where I have characters that I could definitely notice the difference when I have sneak on and off and I have agility in like the low 20s. Hey, Darian, welcome. They are something. They're mixed. We'll see when they, uh, when they show up what they're actually like. Right now, it's all just speculation. West Virginia, no. Well, a lot of it's speculation. So now I'd like I think the biggest thing, people are just freaking out because it's different. Oh. Once a month. All right. No other questions. And on we go. All right. Onward and upward. Ease on down the road. Just like they said in the whiz for anybody that ever saw that. <clears throat> uh, the other, was it yesterday? I think it was yesterday. I was looking for something to watch uh, on Amazon Prime. And I ran across Barnaby Jones, if anybody knows that show. <laughs> it was a. TV show in the 1970s. American TV show. Okay, these are just people. They're not... Uh, let's see, if I switch over here, can I get... Nope, still shotguns. I don't want shotguns. Afternoon. But it makes me kind of go, you know, whatever happened to TV theme songs? Because it used to be you'd have like this musical, either a song or theme music in the beginning of the show, and it might have lasted a minute or so, and then you'd have it at the end. And now they just cram as many commercials as possible and there's nothing, nothing like that. No catchy tunes on TV shows anymore. Didn't see it, but old enough to still get the reference. Yeah, I actually didn't watch it when it was back in the day. I mean, when it was on, like I remember it being on, but I don't, I don't, I don't remember. It wasn't something that got watched, you know, in, uh, you know, cause when you're a kid, your parents kind of drive the, drive that, that show. And, uh. There we go. So I didn't watch it when it was on, but I but I was aware of it. Like I knew what it was. I knew, uh, you know. So it wasn't like, oh, what's the show? It's like, oh, you know what? I never watched this. Let's check it out. And I actually kind of like it. Plus, you know, I like shows that are set in the '70s. For some reason, I just like the, you know, I like seeing the cars. I like to see it. You know, it's just different. Shaft. Yeah, Shaft was one. I don't know if I ever saw. 
I mean, I saw the remake with Samuel L. I don't remember. I might. I probably saw the original at some point. Played a year ago and didn't finish it. Not including this playthrough. Three was the one you haven't played in nine years, so it's been long enough to enjoy again. Ah, okay. I've never finished New Vegas. I have gone through it many times, but I never... For me, I always choose a stalemate, so I don't actually do the ending. So for me, New Vegas has never been finished. Uh, what did... Oh, it's another player. I'm like, I saw something. I have a level up, so let's take a perk card pack. And then we'll take, uh, let's see, do we get, let's do one rank of starch jeans. And uh, that's our next two level, or well, this level up and the next one. So then after the next level up, we'll be able to do our mutations, which is cool. Speed demon will be nice. I don't care about the wolf pack. I'm just going to ignore this one. I'm not going to exit it because if somebody completes it while I'm around, I don't mind taking some XP. Played enough to have every 360, oh, 360 achievement. Oh, nice, nice. Yeah, I originally played it on, I never had it on 360. So my original um, New Vegas was on PS3, which, you know, Bethesda games and PS3, no, bad combo. Because once that file started getting big, the game just kind of becomes unplayable. Skyrim was the same way. I had Skyrim on, on PS3 too, which was terrible. Uh, it was fine for a while. And uh, as the file save file gets bigger and bigger, the game becomes more and more unplayable. Hey, Corey. You binged this VOD last night. You actually love the idea of... Oh, thank you very much. I'm glad you liked it. <laughs> I'm glad you like it. It's a lot of fun so far. I'm really liking it. It's it's, it's challenging enough because of the, the weapon thing, but it's not... It's definitely nothing painful like the RNG one was. So because I am in charge of the build, although deciding what the build needs to be is kind of tough, I will say. Because each, each uh, thing, I'll have different weapons. So I'm trying not to go too heavy into any one particular type of weapon did i get everything oh this is what i didn't get so i'm trying to do enough to do damage but i'm also trying to be general enough that when the next one comes around and probably i'll do what i did last time is i'll stop uh oh leader bobblehead sure let's take that uh let's I think someone wants to shoot me i was gonna use my leader bobblehead but uh there we go yeah we're still at a point where shotguns are good but I'll probably leave, uh, at some point, I'll probably stop taking level ups uh, and I'll save those for next time. So when I do my next weapons, at least I'll have something hanging around that I can actually uh, spec a little bit into the weapon I'm using. So let's see, that was a leader bobblehead. Very useful, there we go. Have I beat all of the Pip-Boy games? I have not played any of the Pip-Boy games. <laughs> if you mean in, the, in Fallout in this game or, well, I've, I haven't actually played any Pip-Boy games. I did load up the one in Fallout 4 that's uh, the one that's like Donkey Kong. I can't remember what it's called, but it's basically Donkey Kong. Uh, I loaded it up enough to know, oh, this is Donkey Kong. That's it. That's my total experience with Pip-Boy games ever. I mean, so here's the thing. I grew up on, like the Pip-Boy games are basically like these 2D, you know, side scroller type games. And I grew up playing those. So I don't really need to, to relive <laughs> to relive those kind of games so would you happen to know why you can't access the site charlie elevator if uh if it's on cooldown you can't red menace yes that's the one yeah if uh if it's on cooldown like so so what you need to do is look you should have a holotape if you've done the uh well you have to do the uh, enclave storyline so if you have you have to do that so it's which is not really the main story you have to actually be a part of the enclave if you have then it could be on cooldown, and then if it's on cooldown, you won't be able to go inside, I think. But if you haven't done the Enclave, that would be why. What is the Pitfall game? Isn't that, isn't that like the jungle one? Isn't it like Pitfall? Isn't that what it's like, or is it something else? Hey. Like I said, I haven't played them, so I don't know. I mean, I've, I've looked at the one, the, the Red Menace one, that's it. If you wanted to play those games, I feel like you'd play the originals, not the boot. Yeah, exactly. That's, that's kind of how it is for me. Uh, if like I wanted to go back and play those old school games, that's what I would do. That's not why I play Fallout. It's the same thing why I don't, uh, you know, like, uh, oh, event leader of the pack failed. Too bad. It's like I don't, I don't play Fallout for those kind of things. I play Fallout to run around. Destroyed world. Now, this world is pretty in much in pretty good shape. See, there's a magazine in here. I think it's right. Uh... Isn't this the door where there's a magazine? No, that's not the right shelf. It's the other one. How dare you? I have a blocker. You can't hurt me. 
Not by much. My shotgun shell supply is growing and growing. Let's see. It's in here. Is this... This is where the... Uh, yeah, it's on this shelf right here on this bottom shelf. That's where a magazine can spawn. We're going to leave everything else, though. Um, is that it? All right. Did I miss another... Did another event come up and I didn't notice? Probably. That's okay. <laughs> Trying to farm lead, and they said they had a weight room in the gym down there. Oh, yeah, there is a weight room in the gym, yes. Hey, Conjure, welcome. Always been playing all the Elder Scrolls and Fallouts on max difficulty. Remember Reaver Ghoul and Fallout? Oh, and Fallout 3, yes. Even in even in regular difficulty, those Reaver Ghouls were pretty, uh, pretty tough. Hello. I'm being friendly. All right. Let's see. I think I could put down a tent right here. I probably have enough stuff I want to scrap it. I do have enough stuff. I should be doing pretty well on, um, yeah, a lot of this basic stuff in terms of mods. Like, if I get a 10 mil pistol next time, I probably will be able to mod it how I want, but we'll see. There are weights down there. That's why you chose it. Yeah, there's weights in all of them. All of the, all of the silos have the exact same layout. So there's weight rooms in all of them. So, new Tapper. Oh, okay. 10 cans. Yeah, 10 cans are good. And they'll respawn, uh, like they'll, they'll be, uh, they'll respawn kind of infinite in terms of, uh, like you can loot them, server hop, loot them again, as long as somebody else hasn't picked them up recently. So that's the nice thing about the tin cans. Weights obviously give you more. There we go. I wonder if this guy's doing the same quest I'm doing. <laughs> Cause that's about the only time I think I ever, ever come through this area is when I'm going to the, uh, the lumber mill. Other than that, there's no, uh, is he shooting me? No. I mean, he can if he wants. I don't care. What's in, what is this? Nothing. Come here. He's trying to trick me. No, I don't need to go there. I'm good. I, there's nothing there that I need. We shouldn't get rid of your excavator PA. Well, you craft another set. That's the nice thing about excavators. You can, uh, assuming you've done the quest line, like it was something someone gave to you, but yeah, the quest line is super short. I mean, you basically just go there and download the schematics and you can craft it and you're good to go. How's my, uh... ah, we got lots of time. Yeah, food is kind of pesky, but in fact, Sweetwater Special Blend might be a way to go as well. I did, I'm not doing, I don't think I'm going to do herbivore. In fact, if I end up doing anything, it'll be carnivore because uh, I'm sure there'll come a time where my first pull from the purveyor is going to be some sort of really bad uh, ranged weapon like a uh, missile launcher or something. And then I'll be kind of forced to take a melee weapon. So I want to be able to do melee damage. So I'll probably do carnivore if if it comes to that. But I'm saving, I'm saving it. I'm not going to commit unless I have to. Although it would be good for the can meats too. I get more more level. Oh, there we go. That was exciting. Yesterday when doing eviction notice, you saw someone excavator power armor using a jetpack. Yep, jetpacks. I've got one of those. I've actually got several. Uh I don't know if I'd call it a glitch. It was more, you know, for a while the paint there was a paint that would actually let you put a jetpack on on um on excavator. I don't remember which paint it was. Or maybe it was for something else. Was it Union? I don't know. I remember when it happened. It was like, okay, I took advantage of it. Not like other people. I didn't I didn't craft like 10 million of them, but I crafted a few so any of my characters could uh, yeah. have one. You have to kill lots of mole miners for the materials for making excavator. Or you can take... So you can actually do a workshop as well. You can do the uh, Gorge Junkyard because that has right inside the main entrance there is a... A titanium ma uh, node. So Gorge Junkyard, where are we? Gorge Junkyard. So right inside there, right inside the gate when you go there, there is a titanium um, node. So you can actually take that workshop, put down extractor, and you can get black titanium that way as well. It's it's ore, so you'll have to, uh, I mean, you'll have to smelt it, but. Don't do anything. Um, I don't remember. It was basically a certain, it may have been if you knew a certain mod, like some, cause it seemed like you could do, I don't remember what it was, but it wasn't any weird glitch. It was just, if you know this particular paint or this particular, uh, plan, 
for this for this uh, jetpack, you can put it on excavator, and it lasted a few days. It didn't last very long, but people crafted a lot of them. It doesn't make any sense that it can't have a jetpack. I mean, to me, it's not like some game-breaking thing that you're doing. You know, it's not like you're adding a jetpack on top of, you know, emergency protocols or something. You still have to to choose. Oh, Raider Arm. Take that so we can actually learn the mods, if there are any. What's the best way to get the Nuka, Nuka Quantums? Um, you can buy them from the... Probably the best way would be to have the Nuka, uh, Nuka Collectron. Would be the best way. Hit all of the, go to the red rocket, farm all the machines there. Go to the, go to um, Nuka World, farm all the machines there. Um, check player camps. Two excavator jetpacks, but you don't use them. You don't care about jetpacks. I like, you know, jetpacks have, have kind of grown on me with power armor. I like them. I like other things, but I do like the jetpacks. All right, I just want to get a uh, little bit. There's a lot of junk here, so I'm not going to loot this place, but I'm looking for... If there's a weapon, I want to pick it up. So if there's a... Come on, give me that ammo. If there's a weapon, I want to pick it up so I can scrap it for mods. Other than that, I mean, there's a lot of junk here, and I just don't want to pick it all up. But yeah, I may come to a time when I have a laser... Let's see, I think there's a metal... Yeah, metal chest piece. Uh, metal chest piece. And I don't think there's anything else in terms of uh, stuff to scrap. White Spring Refuge, Nuka Cola Vendor. Yes. Is there a price for such a jetpack? I I'm sure you could I'm sure there might be a price. I don't know. You'd have to find someone who's willing to sell them or trade them. They're probably expensive, I would say, at this point, because you can't get them anymore. No cap stash for me. So they're probably expensive. I don't know. I'm not someone who does trades. And I don't have extra ones. I just have enough for my characters. So, if you're lucky like you, you'll find plenty of quantums from Nuka Cola vending machines. There you go. Have you seen the super cool history of the Fallout World video that came out a few days ago? Goes month by month, but ignores 76. No, I have not. I have not seen it. I saw there was a video talking about Starfield. It was like a critique of Starfield, and the video was like eight hours long. I didn't watch it. I just thought, really? You need eight hours to rip on Starfield? <laughs> like that's, to me, that seems kind of excessive and maybe you need to find something else to do. Isn't Nuka brought in Nuka World machines and also bubbles? Yeah, you can buy it from the Nuka vendors as well. But I've, you know, having just a Nuka vent, isn't there the Nuka Quantum Collector as well? So one of the Nuka uh, Collectron, that'll give you lots. Hey, Robert. Fanatic Jack Pack could put on the hell could be put on the Hellcat helmet for a while. Okay, yeah, there's been a few of those over the years where you could do a jetpack on an arm or a jetpack on a helmet here and there. But I like the jetpacks on the, I mean, I like my jetpack on a torso. <laughs> so I want to leave the wayward alone. If I have enough strength, I may be able to, uh, yeah, that I don't have to go back. All right, so that's done. Took me long enough, but I got it done. Let's see, all right, we've got enough time. Yeah, I was right. That other person's on the same of it. He's on the... <laughs> He was doing the same thing as me. Let's go to my camp first since the fast travel's cheaper and I can dump stuff in the scrap box or yeah. Yeah, I put up turrets in my camp. The reason I did that was because if I came back to my camp after I had scrapped all my weapons and armor, I wanted to not die because I don't get attacked much, but once in a while I'll get mole rats or ghouls or something. Problem is I had, I had more turrets. I had two over here and they just started shooting at my camp. So that, uh, that, that wasn't what I wanted. So I took out some turrets. I need to redo the camp though. And I have a fusion core. Uh, yeah, I have a fusion core charger. I hooked that up. So I did that. I did that. All right, let's go talk to Duchess. Don't forget to paint the wall again. Oh. Yeah. Every time. Let's say talk to Duchess. Oh no, you only paint the wall if you kill them. And I didn't kill them, so I don't have to paint the wall. Thanks for reminding me, but yeah, I don't, oh, frag mines, I'll take those, because if I, if I do Rose's quest, which I probably will. Uh, let's see, let's do, I know I've got like a plan in here, at least one. Put that in there, that in there, and the Raider's journal entry. Yeah, unless you, if you don't kill them, you don't need to do that. Just hope the new Fallout TV show is canon. I don't care if it's canon, I just hope it's good. 
I mean, if it's not canon, I probably wouldn't notice anyway. I just want it to be good. I hope it's good. And I hope it brings people to the game and I hope it brings the Fallout 4 next gen update out. Like, I'm hoping it comes out then. We're only like six weeks away. I don't want trade. I want to talk to her. We're only like six weeks of. Oh, come on, jeez. Third person is so finicky. Yeah, it's like the middle of February or middle of April. So yeah. But there's there too. Missing muscle, yes. I'll find your people. Missing person. Missing person. Find them. Appreciate it. Find out what. All right, got that. I've got. Uh, I think this gives me the hunting rifle plan, which I don't really need. If it isn't canon, then you don't think most would care as long as it's good. I think as long as it's good, yeah. I mean, the hardcore people are always going to pick at it. But I think most people, as long as it's good, that's all they care about. Getting camp items for Walton Goggins, which is awesome. Yeah, I mean, that's kind of cool. We'll get... Um, um, I'm sure there'll be lots of tie-ins to the show. Maybe just in the Atomic Shop. But I'm sure there'll be tie-ins to the show here and there. Yeah, I saw that we'll be able to have a uh, an Assaultron ally on the next uh, next season as a reward. So that's something, I guess. Perfect. Just to... Uh, what did she give me? Maybe she didn't give me anything. All right. How about ammo? There we go. Shotguns. I don't need that many. There we go. All right. So her missing muscle is going to be up that way. Where are we at? Oh, is there an event? I don't know if I'm getting event notifications. Oh, more shotguns. I don't think I'm getting event notifications. Walton, Go oh, Walton Goggins, he's the actor that's going to be playing uh, playing a ghoul. Ghoul's outfit from the TV show is going to be an apparel item in 76. Yes. Yeah, he was in... Like, if you ever saw the TV show Justified, he was in that he was the yeah the server doesn't feel like the most populated server hey there's galadorn oh the problem is i'm not oh, weight reduction is gonna be a pro oh no i have uh i have the weight thing on shotguns that'll, that'll be perfect so i can reduce the weight of shotguns so that's nice Let's see, purified water, nuke cherry, nuke cola, and let's see, what's up, Mike can eat? Canned dog food, perfect. Call it the ghoul duster for now, you can't wait to get it for your cowboy build, yes. Video also says China was the ones who first fired the nukes too, I just thought it was unknown who launched first. I, you know, for some reason I was thinking it was, uh, oh, the robot with the railroad, isn't that, didn't we determine that she was the one? Who fired first? Something like that. Isn't that like on the terminals? Inside the uh, whatever their uh, I can't remember what their uh, what their hideout's called. The switch the switchboard, right? Is it the switchboard? Something like that. Well, I am really not doing a lot of damage, but I could take mutations after this, so that's a good thing. And then I can do, I'll probably be able to level up again and do Enforcer. Oh yes, speed, oh, give me speed demon. Yeah, my weapons are already starting to, uh, come on, come on, jeez. <laughs> it's like, I have to hit the button 500 times for it to, uh, we got them all? Nice, all right. Let's do some area looting, get some shotguns. And let's see, I want this box right here. There we go. Pam, exactly. Don't watch much USA TV. Too busy to even watch UK TV. Yeah, it's going to be Amazon Prime is what the show is going to be. If Fallout 76 was shut down forever, what would you do? Uh, I don't know. That's a good question. Have a life? Something like that? I don't know. I mean, obviously, I wouldn't be making Fallout 76 content anymore. So, yeah, I don't know. That's a good question. I don't think that's in danger of happening, at least not anytime soon. I mean, I personally think that this game is uh, will stay around until uh, at least until the next Fallout game, single player game. So we have a long ways before this game goes anywhere, in my opinion. I mean, it's making them money. So as long as it makes them money, they'll keep uh, 
they'll keep it going. All right, now I'm over encumbered. Now we have to decide what to get rid of. Um, assault rifle. Oof. I wish there was a, oh. You know what, missile launcher, those are heavy. Bull miner gauntlets, you know what, those are heavy too, and I've learned the mods already, so we'll get rid of those. All right, that makes a difference. Yeah, because assault rifles, I can end up with an assault rifle, so I want those mods. And I want this. Life, what's that? Exactly. Fallout 76 makes way too much money. Yeah, I have no idea if it makes money. I mean, it's got to be profitable for them, though. So, this looks like black titanium. No, that's uranium. Which is why I'm taking rads. Ooh, let's see. I want... No, that's an explosive box. We don't care about that. I'm coming. Not that it's super helpful, but... Uh, all right. You're welcome. <laughs> Shotgun shells. Double barrel. Oh, that would be kind of brutal. If I ended up with a double barrel as my only... Well, I guess it wouldn't be my only gun, but... Uh, yeah, that 10 mil submachine gun's kind of unfortunate. They're just so bad. It's just not a reasonable option for me to use. Uh, foot blighter. I got something. What? Oh, in here. Shotgun shells. Oh, jeez. I just don't need more, but... Did I loot that? I did. Is this... Uh, have this. All right. I'm coming. This dude's doing just fine. I just need, like, one more level up. And then I can stop leveling for the day. One rank of enforcer will be enough for me. All right, still not over encumbered, which is good. They said they still have millions of players, right? Yeah, I mean, they keep adding. I mean, I honestly think the show is going to add a lot. Like, I think the show, especially if they do the next gen update, uh, I think the show will add a lot of players to this and to Fallout 4. I think it'll bring a lot of players in. I mean, if it worked for um, if it worked for Cyberpunk and Edge Runners, I think it'll work for uh, for Fallout. We'll see. We'll see what happens. Plus, I think that they're doing really well. I mean, I think the updates this year, people are really gonna like them. So, I I think we're gonna get good updates, and we're gonna have a lot of just pu a lot of uh, publicity from the show. And between those things, I yeah, I think this could be a good year for for 76. I think. There are a lot of PC players buy Fallout. Yeah, Fallout first. Um, there's a lot of people that spend money in the Atomic Shop. I mean, not everyone does, but there are people who have money and they don't care about. I mean, they, if they got, if they if they want it, they just buy it. So, I uh, is this guy? Yeah, I guess he's just standing still. It didn't look like he was actually working. So, Plus, I mean, if you look at the game, it's not like they spend marketing. I mean, there's like really no money spent on marketing. It's not like we see Fallout 76 commercials all the time. Um, I think their dev team is not that big. So I don't think this game costs them a lot to maintain. I mean, maybe it does, but I, I'm sure it brings in more than... Okay, now I'm over encumbered. Let's get rid of... Mole Miner Gauntlet, Mole Miner Gauntlet. All right, I'm just, just that close. Let's get rid of that. All right. I think I'll start making my way out. I just can't pick up any more stuff. <laughs> I just, I'm in here for the loot, but I can't pick up any more stuff. So, um, let's see here. Plus I want my, my mutation. So we're going for speed demon after this and probably whatever else. That person's AFKing. I know people do that, but there's so much good scrap you can get from this event. I just don't, uh, I'd rather not AFK it. I'd rather do it so I can get stuff. But then there's Galadorn. <laughs> Hello. Uh, do I have any carryweight boosters on this character? No, I don't. Unless you get some when you start, which I guess you could. I should look. But I don't feed. I don't take scoreboard stuff. I don't feed my stream characters from the scoreboard. So I get what I have. Plus, I'd rather not just use the. Uh, let's see. What do I have? Let's see. I probably have like two repair kits. Yeah, I have two repair kits. Um, carryweight booster. That's food, though, right? Yeah, I don't, I don't have any. I didn't think that I would. Uh oh, the auto miner's dying. You're off now? All right, Ariel. Thanks for stopping by. Have a good rest of your day and a good tomorrow. Traveling to Scotland for a week. Oh, cool. Enjoy your uh, week in Scotland. That sounds fun. Can't pick up any more stuff, then proceeds to immediately look for loot. Yes. Well, I mean, on my way out.
If Mr. Apos is, if he's, if he's lurking, he's in a coma. I don't think he's lurking because he just can't help himself. He has to reply to things. All right, come on. Give me the mine. Give me, give me, give me, give me the mine. I do like the, I do like this paint. And I definitely like having the, that's kind of my preferred way to go. I actually like having the armor over the under armor. I'm not so much for the outfits. Sometimes they fit, but for the most part. This armor, though, can you imagine? Like, hey, this is a... It would protect your neck, though, really well. But uh, depending on how heavy that back part is, uh, it would make it hard not to fall over backwards. But it works really well. All right. Let's go into here. Let's cash in our tokens. 30 tokens. All right. More junk. This is scrap, though, so it's not super heavy. All right. Got that. Let's go to... Let's just go right here to Nuka World since we're close. Off kilter resale and stuff. Welcome. First time catching a live stream. Started playing at the first of the year and you're hooked. Thanks for watching my stuff. I appreciate that. Hopefully you're enjoying yourself. 6K from the whole world on Steam. Don't know how they count. Yeah, I don't know. Zimarmu, hello, hello. Will Blake, hello, hello. All right. We are going to run him. Run in place for a bit. <laughs> Reminds me of this morning. So we had a really windy day. Our forecast was 20 mile an hour winds all day. And I went out for my run this morning and my the uphill portion of the run was into the wind. And it felt like I was running in place. It was uh, not my favorite time. Is a Q5025 laser a good? Yeah, that's a great, yeah, that's fantastic. Yes, Thomas, that is a fantastic roll. Is there a date for the next scoreboard? Yes, it's the March 26th is when the new season starts. So we are less than four weeks away. Soon, it can't come soon enough. There's all that and ammo and all that. Oh, there we go. We're a lot lighter. Um, for some reason I was thinking I wanted to put something in my, okay, hunting rifle plan. Oh, I know what I wanted. Let's do our level up and take the second rank of starch jeans. And let's do some mutations. Make life a little easier. How about that? You Midwestern too? No, I'm actually, I'm in Utah. Not Midwestern. Okay, so we have that. And let's do our mutations. Do I want to do them? Probably not all of them. Let's see. I, I want uh, speed, I want herd mentality and speed demon for sure. Twisted muscles, I'm going to save. Adrenal reaction. That came from a party pack. I don't plan to use that. Uh, let's see. Let's do eagle eyes and bird bones. That should help us quite a bit, actually, in combat. So let's just do the new. Do the new so I can find them, he says. Not finding them. There we go. All right. Mole rat meat. Let's sell this mole rat meat. Today might it's be heavy stuff. Day. Mole rat meat. Uh, carrot I don't care about. Oh, jeez. All this stuff. I could really go for a Brahmin burger. Right I now. hate these people. Mm. All right, let's put the mines. I'm going to put the frag mines in the stash. I just pick those up early when I can. And then uh, then when I have to do Rose's stuff, if I do it, I may not. But if I do it, I want to be able to uh, just do it. Um, da, da, da. Is it 50 crit damage? Even if it's hit chance, it's still it's still great. Either way, it's good. Can't wait for Atlantic City Part 2. I think it's going to be a good update. It's going to be nice to be able to go into Atlantic City Explorer. I'm looking forward to it. It'll give me new stuff to do on stream. Like, I can go into a new area and actually, because there's new quests and stuff, too. So, it'll be, uh, yeah, I, I'm debating. I don't know if I want to start a new character when the new season starts, right then. I mean, it depends on when this one goes, but I don't know if I want to make the next character, like, theme to, to that, because I feel like I did in Atlantic City. I, I don't really know what it would be, really. Oh, a National Park strip out there. Oh, cool. We've got five. We've got five in the state of Utah. Four weeks. You're over level 170 in the board and three accounts. Maybe time for a break. Maybe. Maybe time for, maybe time for a break. All right. So we want to go. There we go. I see where we're headed. I think someone's shooting at me. Landy joined the team. Galdorn left. Landy. There we go. Hello. Let's see, it's one. Uh, there we go. Golly mine. Golly mine should not be a problem. Can I make it through here in time? If I burn through it, I can make it to the end before the next mutated event. 
I think, right? Yeah, we'll see. Let's just burn. Let's just run right in. We're just ignoring everything. We're just going to run through. We're going to do this. We're going to do this in record time. Hey, Pete. Welcome, welcome. It's going well. Hi, Charisma and hi, Luck. Gambler built for Atlantic City. Yeah, but what? I mean, I could. But in terms of like, I'm thinking of like, so how would that affect gameplay? So if I did that, what would that look like? Because I have to think in terms of like, what would be entertaining for a stream? And I could do a high luck build. I mean, a high luck build basically trumps everything, right? So then I could just be like this high crit build. But I'm thinking in terms of, yeah. So I don't know. Something that would be interesting. I'm on a man on a mission. I want to kill everything quickly, but I also want to loot all of your stuff. So that's what we're doing. Because really, if you can kill stuff, although we're to the point now, my remember my gear is still level 20, so stuff should be getting more difficult. But now that I have faster reloads, and I keep trying to do crits, but I don't think I'm getting very many crits. Let's see. Oh, we've got this loser. Hey. I wonder if I walked right by him and just went on in, what would happen? Tell me you got a stim pack. Probably won't happen. Would you like to do a casino heist? Don't mean something like tax evasion. Oh. I don't know. So uh Yes, yeah, so let's just go, 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 go. I'm in a hurry. Me and my I'm in a hurry. I'm in a hurry. I'm in a hurry. Hurry, hurry, hurry. There we go. All right. Scorch right here. I should be getting crits fairly frequently. I mean, I don't have high luck, but since it's per hit, and if I'm using shotgun with vats, it should fill up the crit meter pretty uh, quickly. All right, is that everything? Nope, there's another one somewhere. Um, where? I saw a red dot. What the hell? <laughs> there was a red dot somewhere. It went, it disappeared. Um, oh, he went way over there. You can't go over there. That's not fair. There we go. All right. Let's uh, scrap everything. There's a uh, workbench somewhere, which I never can see because it blends into the, there we go. There's that. Scrap everything. Yeah, combat shotgun mods. I should be pretty set as far as that goes. Blew two trailer tires and waited six hours to hear recovery. Ooh. Oh, that it's not covered. Oh, Taco Bell right now. I could go for tacos. I don't know about Taco Bell. I can go for some tacos. I was craving Mexican food like a week ago. Still haven't had any. All right, so we've hey. got this, and she's going to hey. say, and Someone I can't use her weapon because it breaks I the rules. Use a lift. Come on. You are a there we go. You happen. He's what do you, you get me back? Yes. Yes. Yes, I hear it. Let's go. Let's go. All right. No, nope. I'm not using your stupid weapon. All right, let's go. Oh, I think it put the wrong gun in. Yeah, it did. It switched over to the 10 mil SMG. That wasn't the last weapon I used. I hear stuff. Where the hell are they? There we are. I'm in a hurry. Get out of here so I can murder you. There we go. Yeah, the shotgun's still doing the trick. Shotguns are good. Imagine if this was actually a good shotgun and I was actually spec for it. Can just leave the cave without fighting anyone? Um, I don't want to do that. They all have weapons and stuff that I want to scrap. Plus, I want to do it right. Plus, if I get to level 33, I can do Enforcer. I'll definitely get there after the next event. So, Enforcer was going to be coming sooner rather than later. Oh, he was the boss of the area. Yeah, Eagle Eyes is making a bit of difference, having that extra perception. Extra VATS uh, stuff. Uh, oh, I don't have this active. Uh, let's see here. Uh, what is it? This one. Oh, Return to Duchess. All right. I did that part. I got to not fast travel out. That's the thing here. Don't want to fast travel. Do a forest treasure map just for fun. 10 mil pistol. Probably have all the mods I need for that one. But uh, look at that. We made it out with... Uh, Time to spare. Like, can anti-armor and two-shot be on the same gun? It cannot. They're both primary uh, first star effects. Damn. Ammo I'm not a big fan of two-shot. It really hurts your accuracy. If it's not two-shot explosive, I probably wouldn't want it. 
Although, you know, I have used the, um, oh, what is it? That uh, Pirate Punch, because it is two shot, but it's Vat's hit chance. It's actually pretty good. So if you have two shot with Vat's hit chance, that's not bad, but I'd rather have other, other things. Because two shot doesn't really give you that big of a bonus. Okay, so let's see if I get, I wanted to see here. I, don't, I think I'm not getting pop-ups again for events because I don't think I've been seeing them. So we've got like seven seconds until the next mutated event comes and we'll see if I get a pop-up. Yeah, I'm not getting pop-ups. So it's good to know. That's happened to me so many times on streams where I stop getting uh, notifications of events. So a mutated event is up. I don't know what it is. Maybe it's eviction notice. Wouldn't that be exciting? Certainly give me a lot of legendaries that I can't use. Swarm of suitors. Okay, that's a quick one. Remember when it was the meta back in? Yeah, early on, it, before I started playing, it was that way. It was early on, it was it was that way. But yeah, it's only, it's like 25% damage bonus. So I'd rather have something else. Because it's 25% damage bonus and a pretty big accuracy penalty. So really? Yeah, this server's not, uh, oh, there's one person. Straw man. Rust, 100k online, 76, 6k. You didn't know they have this number away from last year. It's at least eight. Um, it's it's really low right now. I mean, we're the se we're in the last month of the season, which is always down. Um, Fash not just ended. Usually after special events end, you get less people as well. So, yeah, we're kind of in a slow period. 6,000 is kind of where it craters. And usually when it gets busier, it'll be up between like 10 and 12. But who knows, maybe we'll get, uh, with the next update and the TV show, maybe we'll get some, uh, who knows, maybe we'll get some big, I mean, the all-time high on this game is only like 30-something, at least on Steam. I think Xbox is actually a bigger, a bigger community than PC, though. So I think if you saw the number on Xbox, it would be, I don't know if it would be a lot larger, but I think it would be larger than what, what you see on Steam. I think a lot of that has to do with Game Pass. I mean, that is the nice thing about Game Pass. You have that, and you can just play whatever they have They have there. Yeah, and PS, I mean, I think there's actually a pretty large PlayStation community, which, you know, kudos to them for sticking with all the bugginess and whatever. Um, you know, PlayStation has the most instability to deal with in terms of the game crashing and whatever, so... And I got staggered and everything bad. <clears throat> Not that many people here. This is, uh, oh, well, there's a few people. They're showing up here and there. Trickling in, as it were. You're about Steam, both numbers and from one platform, so it's fair without counting consoles. Yes. But it doesn't necessarily tell you the health of the game, right? I mean, that's the thing. Yes, compared to other things, it has a small number of players. I mean, if you look at, uh, well, pretty much anything. Compared to Starfield, though, it's beating Starfield usually. <laughs> so there's that. And Starfield's a much newer game. 76 got a big boost to PS players when the game was free. Yeah, that was like a year and a half. Was it last year? Like January of last? Because it seemed like it was the beginning of like January of last year, I want to say. Because so, I remember when that happened, I'm like, we're going to get a bunch of new players. Because I remember doing a video, I think I did a new player video at that point. Because I was thinking, you know, we got all these uh, PlayStation players coming in, so we're going to get a lot of new people. So it could be a good time to do a video like that. And I didn't have, in the previous January, I didn't have a channel. So it must have been a year ago. Is Rust on consoles? Good question. PS has been really bad the last few days. That's too bad. All right, so we got this. Uh, we got a rank up. Cool. All right, so let's see if I can do Enforcer. We do have Enforcer. All right, we're going to take one rank of Enforcer only. That should be enough. Oh, I got two level ups. Oh, all right. I think go. I think for the rest of the I think I'm good for now. Where are we? Yeah, I think I'm going to save all my level ups the rest of the way for the next stream when I... Uh, have to go to the purveyor and get new stuff. And that way I'll have, uh, I'll have some, uh, some leverage when it comes, or some, uh, flexibility when it comes to the new gear. 
So this is the level up. This is the this is the loadout for now. So this is what it looks like for the rest of today. What do I have anyway? Scatter shot, which is helpful. That's actually pretty good, especially for looting shotguns. So I got a couple of shot. I only have shotgunner one. <laughs> so one rank of shotgunner. Uh, yeah, rifleman. Not using rifles yet. I haven't had. I really. I don't think I've had. I mean, I had the hunting rifle last time, but it got really bad really quickly. So, yeah, this is still kind of a mess. To be, <laughs> to be honest, I don't think I'll ever use. Yeah, I'm never gonna use packing light or dead man sprinting. So we'll get rid of those. We'll take the perk points uh, for whatever I use those for. I don't think I'll be scrapping a lot of perks. Just because... I want to make sure I got all the loot here. Oh, there's a popcorn bag. Was that me? Was that somebody? Um, see, I don't want all of this stuff, but I'll take that. I'll take any kind of weapon. All a single action isn't... Uh, all right. Uh, we got to return to Duchess, which is perfect because I've got a tent there. I've got a tent there. There we go. I might as well save my party packs. I think what I'll do... I'll store the party packs. I might as well save them for level 50. I won't be able to use them, but if I get something good, I can move it to another character. So I'm going to save the party packs. Let me put those in my stash. I don't want to open them when I'm under leveled. You just, unless I, unless I need the script, which is possible. That could happen. Cause we're not exactly getting a ton of script, uh, this time around. So we'll see what we can see. So we'll store the ammo. Nope. No ammo. Mutate a party pack. Store those. Yeah, we'll see how it goes. Let's go talk to Duchess and tell her what we know. What do we know? Oh, then she's going to want me to go get a robot body. Let's milk some cows if we can. I need to put up. That's going to be my... Okay. Can't jump. That's going to be my thing for next time as a Brahmin machine. Or a Brahmin milk machine. Yeah, I'm not even going to getting notifications on what... Uh... Oh, seven Brahmin milk. Let's just do it all. Oh, I forgot to store. Hang on. Let's go store this legendary. Let's store everything. Lighten our load as much as possible. All right. Uh, let's see. Uh, mutant's board. Oh, Polly's a Saltron head. Okay, so I've got that. I've gotten a few things. I don't know if I've gotten a thousand worth, but I don't need a thousand worth. I only need 500 worth. So weapons, her head. Might as well equip that going in because we're going to have to do it when we get there. And then she's going to say, my robot needs a new body. Interesting how many online on console didn't, didn't find? Didn't find what? All right. There we go. Got the gang reunited. Just have to find our gal and we'll be all set. Whoa. <clears throat> You're not looking so great, darling. Duchess, I'm not feeling great. Friend, what, what I need a skip doing? option. There's no Duchess has been leveling up right along with me. Uh, She's my level. Jeff, How about that? Which is kind of funny. It's not like you can fight her. There we go. Perfect. Real snug. That's not gonna do it all. Now we can start the skip into the conversation. Uh, did I want to go to Summersville? Just, I should check right. the condition of my guns though. I really don't want to use the repair kits that I have. Look, I can make it worth. Please. Although for the most part, you know, if I have gunsmith high enough, uh, probably never will need to use repair kits because my my gear is only going to be used for one stream and then it's gone. So. And make sure. All right, so we've got that, and uh, there we go. Switch weapons and that. Okay, what is the condition of our gun? Uh, halfway should be okay. I mean, that's two hours, and we don't have two hours left, so. Oh, didn't find out how many. I don't think you can get that information. I, I don't think that uh, Xbox shares it. I don't think PlayStation shares it. I could be wrong, but I've never seen those numbers. I don't think they share it. It's just the Steam charts you can get. You can uh, look at that stuff, which I actually find kind of interesting comparing the different games. I mean, if you look at, like, Starfield always has, in terms of Bethesda games, Starfield's kind of at the low end, and then 76, and then Fallout 4 has got more, uh, usually it's, like, f anywhere between 50 to 100% more than 76, and then Skyrim. Skyrim always has the most players, so, and usually by a pretty decent margin, too, which is crazy. I mean, Skyrim's been around for 11 years, and uh, it, it still gets, let's see, I guess I haven't been over here. Let's pick up the Overseer's house. 
But yeah, there's times you'll see Skyrim will have over 20,000 people and the game came out, you know, 2011. So that is some staying power. And uh, I know they said they were thinking they wanted Starfield to be kind of the same boat. I don't think it's going to happen. I, I don't, you know, maybe. Maybe they're going to do some more to the game, but so far the changes they've made are not impressing me. And there's nothing in it that says, yeah, I'm going to be playing this game in 10 years. I mean, so far they haven't done anything that makes me want to play the game at all. So let's see here. Shotgun, sh I'm not going to pick up more of those. I've got so many. I'm going to pick up this 45 ammo though. Because you just, okay, now I'm invisible. Oh yeah, chameleon. Yuck. I hate chameleon. <laughs> I hate chameleon. Something keeps coming up. I don't know what it is. I don't know what that, okay, something's not, okay, what is going on here? It's like I picked up a quest and it's, uh, oh, geez. Okay. That's driving me nuts. I'm getting that notification. It's like, it's going to make it. All right. I'm going to have to log out. Let me, uh, I'm going to re I'm going to restart the game. This is brutal. Oh, it went away. No, it didn't go away. All right. I'm going to pick up this location and then I'm going to log out and log back in. I think I'm going to restart the game because I can't play having that popping up, you know, coming up over and yeah, over and over again. Trying to pick up this location. I'm here. Give me the train station. There we go. All right, we're leaving. We'll be right back. <laughs> we'll be right back. This is, uh... Yeah, we're just gonna restart. Everything's going sideways with the game. It's it's broken. Which, you know, never happens, right? Never happens. Be funny is if I did that and uh, then it wouldn't let me sign in again. That'd be frustrating, but the world's not. Uh, it's not. I'm not going to get a world full. That's for sure. Wish you could turn off priority messages. It's one of the most annoying things Bethesda have made. I wish you could turn off help. I wish you could have the help pop ups just not pop up. Just turn them off. Because number one, they're, I mean, they're not really the help. Like the stuff that you need help with is not what the messages give you. It gives you stuff that you don't really need help with. And it doesn't ever take into account the fact that, hey, I've done this before. Um, and I already know this stuff. Well, I tried joining a team, so. I'm trying. I don't know if I joined the team or not. Or is the team, uh, does it have an, uh, did someone crash? What was the team I was on? No, I should be able to join the team. There we go. All right. Now we're back. All right, let's go up here and pick up some locations from the tower. First time for everything. Yes, that is true. PlayStation, Microsoft, very cagey about concurrence. They just rank without giving. Yeah, that's right. They do. They they tell what are the most popular games. Um, Yeah, I have to do that at some point. Look at that. I'm getting uh, notifications again, which is good. Uh, Where's the tower? Did I... I went the wrong way. I'm on the wrong, wrong mountaintop. Go figure. It's usually mole rats over there. Here's some copper. Anyone needs copper? I don't think I'd want to have a camp right there, but that's a thing you could do. A quick load. It takes like five minutes to load. Ah, on PS4. Yeah. Attention, citizens. All right, I got back in just in time to do an event and not uh, not do enough damage on the queen again. So let's see here. Let's, oh, there's ghouls. Although who knows? Maybe with I was gonna say I know there's always three of them. Okay, that one didn't take any damage the first two hits. Pipe rifle, we'll take that. You never know. I may end up with like a pipe rifle one of these times. Uh, Let's go up here and pick up all the locations. Do a little. That was weird. I got hung up on that pillow. I'm getting to the point where I'm getting really used to third person and I have trouble playing in first person. <laughs> it's like there's times I'm just even in. Well, in four, I like first person better because I try playing in third person in four and it just felt kind of weird. All right, where are we going? I'm assuming it's the same. Nope, different, different bad channel. All right, is this the mine? Ooh, use the new. Okay, I'm gonna active this. I'm gonna activate that so that uh, I remember to. Uh, 
Yeah, I activated so I remember to talk to Maggie after. Right? Yeah, something sentimental. I need to do that. I need to turn that into Maggie and uh, whatever. I'm glad I talked to her. Ten new locations. All right, where are we at with uh, the time on that? Side. Death from above. This should take care of all my screws that I'll ever need. If you're unlucky, you get stuck in a black screen. If you wait long enough, your game will crash. PS is very much the poor relation when it comes to performance. You play on PS and Xbox and PS. You know, I remember when Xbox X came out. X, was it Xbox One X? And for a while that was, and in fact, it may still be. Like the loading times on that were way faster than PC. I mean, the game should load fast for me. I have a, I have a gigabit. My, my internet is gigabit connection. So I have fiber. So my connection's very fast. Uh, I have an M.2 drive. So, and it's a, you know, it's a new system. Well, sort of new, six months old, seven, eight, whatever. It's a newish system. So I should have quick loads. Even then the game does not load nearly as quick as it used to. Like every update, it, it seems like it's a little slower. Blame Sony more than Bethesda. I'm sure there's plenty of blame to go around. I have no idea. There is the water treatment plant down there. That's halfway rendered in. All right, so I need to grab the holotape when we go into the uh, into the thing. That's right on the thing. That was good nuke placement. It looks like I'll be able to uh, just go right out without having to worry about rads, which is nice. Since I don't have a hazmat suit. Hazmat suits are allowed though, by the way. It's not a, it's not armor. So I, sh I can loot a hazmat suit just fine. All right, let's pick, let's actually just play this. Since that's the, since that's the quest, you have to play the holotape. Until you listen to it, it doesn't count. All right, let's see how we do against... These guys are really tanky, though. Actually, that's not too bad. I mean, they're level 40, my gun's level 20. That's actually pretty good. Not amazing. Like, they're not going to tremble in fear. Okay, maybe it's not that great. <laughs> maybe it's not that great. Maybe it's that not that great, but I should have all the screws I need. Uh, where's this one up here? Let's see. So it died right there. If I can get at it. Sometimes they die underneath and uh, yeah, this is a good source of like weapons and stuff to scrap. Again though, it's a good way to get over encumbered. What's in here? Anything? Oh, disease cure. I will take that. And let's loot everything here and do some scrapping. Assault rifle. So I picked up quite a few assault rifles. So if I end up with one of those at some point, That'll be okay, although I don't really want to do automatic weapons, but if I have to, I will do so. All right. We're doing good in the scrap department, for sure. Nice thing about Earl is you don't have to, uh, like, the amount of damage I do doesn't matter. Hello. That's the, uh, I remember that outfit. Are there only three of us in here? <laughs> like, there can't be, there's gotta be more than that because our team has, uh, yeah, not everyone's playing. It's so weird, but on PlayStation, you have to avoid Nuka World. Yeah, I've heard, you're not the only one, TDM. I've heard that from other people. They go to Nuka World, they just crash, which is just, yeah. And the fact that it's been that way and it hasn't been fixed, it's terrible. Bethesda games are the only games that can play 165 FPS and instantly drop to 45 <laughs> FPS, yes. Yes. I don't have that happen in this game. I mean, for a while after the, you know, that mid-season patch that was awful, um, things were crazy. But they it's been better. I'm back up to my, the same. I'm up to 90 FPS, just constant. And that's because I have a cap. I could actually run it higher, but then I could never interact with a map. But, and I kind of miss that. Like, I'm running, so I have it set on Fallout 4 to half the frame rate, which means, and the monitor's 165. So I end up running it, it, it bounces between 82 and 83 FPS on four. Sometimes it feels a little funny. Like that, that game really doesn't like, you know, it likes 60 FPS. It doesn't like higher than that. It's okay. Like the frame rate, I mean, if I went really high, it would probably be a problem, but it's okay. Next gen update should solve that if it ever shows up. Played Fallout 4 on PlayStation for a lot, a uh, long time ago, or a lot long ago. Didn't experience any crashes. Fallout 76 on PC, and it's far away from ideal in terms of crashes. 76 is definitely... 
Yeah, I mean, it's, I mean, I never had issues on Fallout 4. I mean, for me, it was uh, crashing was never an issue with me, even before the uh, unofficial patch. Kim, welcome. If you get a gray square on the side of the screen after shooting robots and vats, just restart. A blue screen will happen. Oh, jeez. A gray square on the left side of the screen. Is this on play? Is this on PlayStation? I haven't heard of that one before. You try to do seismic activity, it crashes. Yes, I, Nuka World. It just sounds like it's really bad for for PlayStation people, which is probably not a, probably not a lot of nukes get dropped there. I would think. Probably someone does it once. They go there and crash. You go, okay, I can't do Nuka World anymore. But that's. Uh, that sucks. I mean, that that's terrible. And I know it's been that way for a while. Oh, test your metal. Oh, I like test your metal. Oh, well. I don't think we're going to make it. We'll see. Maybe if somebody melts the boss, but we don't have that many people. There's only three of us here. I'm certainly not melting any bosses. PS5. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's uh, PlayStation. You know, kudos to you PlayStation people. Uh, let's just put it this way. I mean, the fact that the game is in as bad a shape as it is, as unstable on PlayStation as it is, and you continue to play, my hat is off to you. I swear, if, play, if it ran on PC like it did on PlayStation, I don't know that I would keep playing. I would just be like, the hell with this. It's not worth it. So, I mean, to have an area of the map that you're not allowed to go to because your game will crash if you do is just, that's terrible. Blue screen is a PS version of, yeah, stop working for PC users. Yeah, you need the... Uh, uh, what is it? Uh. Ah, my mind went blank. I want to say system manager, but that's not right. Perfect English as always. Yeah. <laughs> okay. What are we doing here? It's hard to tell. All the numbers are. It looks like I'm just getting twos, though. And Crippling Earl doesn't really, like, he heals so quickly, but I should be able to, that's what I want to do. Let's test some Enforcer, so let's see some. It should be crippled. Okay, why? Okay. <laughs> let's run away. Okay. Now I'm running away for real. It looks like the cripple does work though. So so rank one is uh, pretty good. Yeah, at this point, we're just pushing. I mean, so the next stream, all right, fire. The, uh, the next stream will be, um, like my guns will be high enough level at the beginning that they'll carry me, I'll, they'll be fine. So that's actually good. So I don't mind leveling anymore at this at this point. got a ps5 yesterday played one and a half hours and it crashed but it seems more stable on ps5 oh, okay well congratulations on P it's always fun to get new toys i think yeah my last playstation was ps3 uh, i got one of those jeez when was it it was a long time ago at this point it was like 15 years ago i still have it i haven't turned it on in years though i think i want to try and trade it in because there's there you know there's places you can go to trade in old games and uh or sell them. That's what I need to do is sell my, I don't have that many. Sell my PS3 games. I still have a pile of PS2 games, even though I don't have a PS2 anymore. I sold that a long time ago. And I have Xbox games. And I pretty much just play on PC. English is way better than your, yeah, your English is fine. Like your English is better. I mean, English is the only language I speak, so. Don't ever feel bad for not being perfect in a language that's not your native. I mean, the fact that you can communicate is uh, in, in another language <laughs> than your native tongue is commendable. So, besides it was perfect, then I would just feel bad because mine's not, my English isn't perfect and it's, it's all I know. Definitely tagging some stuff. What's Earl's? Okay, Earl's. Yeah, I was going to take a minute, I think. Meanwhile, I'm over here just running around shooting random Wendigos. Yeah, it's boss events where I like this that I miss my, uh, <laughs> I miss my regular characters. Okay, I tried to target Earl. Wendigos get in the way of Vats is the problem here. Trying to get close enough to Earl to do a, uh, 
Well, that's it on him. There we go. Of course, now he's going to scream and maybe run away, but that's okay. <clears throat> oh, there you go. Second account for mules on the PS4. We're doing okay, but the high AP cost is really a... Uh... Yeah, if I ever have a situation where I get... I mean, on the one hand, it's it would be it would be great to get uh, like an amazing perfect roll. On the other hand, if I did, then it would be sad because I know that I'd have to get rid of it after after the stream. So uh, having substandard stuff is uh, is kind of a blessing as far as that goes. Uh, let's see where are we at. We've got him down to about fifty five percent health. Okay. Yeah, I really need to start getting some AP. Honestly, next time, it would be kind of nice if I got pistols. And I could get some pistol perks spec into agility. And I think I'll probably spec into crits for under luck. Because that's a pretty good all-purpose... Uh, you know, kind of all-purpose. Just being able to do critical hits. So I think I'll probably do that. Plus having the uh, under armor that I have. I have plus two luck, so... And where are we? I swear I have these. Yeah, my damage is like nothing. Been playing since 84. Imagine how many hours like old people. <laughs> That's how gaming. Yes. Uh, oh, yes. Games are. Uh... Yeah, games are a lot different. I mean. They're a lot more forgiving, right? Because it didn't used to be. You could There was no progress to save. When you died, you just started over. And when you died three times, your game was over. There was no, uh, there was no, you know, you didn't have infinite lives. It was, yeah, games are just different. And, of course, graphics is so, is so, uh, uh, like, the evolution of graphics is so amazing, the way the games look now. Yeah, first game I remember really playing was uh, probably Galaxian. So if you if you uh, if you know how old Galaxian is, that was like the first game I really remember playing in an arcade. Ranger Mill finally reached level fifty. Now it's time to work on Abraham Lincoln. There you go. Come on, come on, Jesus. Yeah, I'm not super effective. My initial impression was wrong. There are a bunch of us old in here. You got time. <laughs> yes, exactly. I, you know, honestly, I think it's this game. I mean, I really think Fallout attracts, uh, or at least Fallout, this game anyway, but I think Fallout in general just attracts an older crowd. Because it's typically not a super fast-paced game. It's more about exploration and taking your time, and I just think that appeals to people who are older. I think. I don't know. Since Fallout wasn't really around when I was a kid, I can't really say if it's a game I would have liked or not. I, I just don't know. I mean, I tend to, because everything back then was a side-scroller and you jumped and, and stuff. Galaga, or Galaxian, yeah. My favorite actually was Galaga. Uh, that was the sequel to Galaxian, but I actually liked, uh, played a lot of Galaga in my day. Donkey Kong Jr. was another one I played a lot of. Yeah, my AP cost is so... It comes... Oh, I know what I need. I need some more company tea, I bet. My AP regen is just terrible. So slow. I should check to see if there's a, su a suppressor. Problem with the suppressor is that really hurts the range on this. And so... Yeah, for run and gun, it becomes a lot less... Basically turns it into a sneak only weapon, so probably don't. Never mind. I don't want to do a suppressor on it. Sister Shea, hello, hello. You're 63. There you go. Since 93, 8 bit. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I mean, so I my I had an Atari 2600, and I you know I had one of them when that was like the latest and greatest system. So I had one when that was a new thing. And so, you know, had games like, I mean, I had Space Invaders. I mean, that was an Atari game. So the, the version on the, uh, it didn't look exactly like in the, in the uh, not casino, in the arcade, but it looked pretty close. So I actually played a lot of Space Invaders. Pitfall, that was another one I really liked as well. Defender, that was another one that was fun. 
Defender's one of those ones I could just play forever until my my hand got uh, my hands got too tired. There's only been a couple of games where I could play like that. There was Defender and Joust. That was the other one. Joust I could play just as long as I wanted. Until I basically got tired. Other than that, I never really got good at any any games to be able to do that. All right, let's loot him. Hopefully I can run out and I'm not... Oh, Two-shot Gatling laser. All right, I'm not over encumbered. Let's get out of here. Played Pong when it first came out. I played Pong, but not when it first came out. I was alive. I was alive when it came out, but I didn't play it when it first... But I did play Pong, yes. Meet a lot of other players. You're like, yeah, nice. Yeah, there's a lot of... Uh, it, it's funny. Anytime you ever get in, like, Discord, <laughs> it's like... I remember everyone assumes that, oh, I'm older than you. I'm older than you. Everyone's like, it's like this con, it's funny in this game. Uh, the, the people you meet, it's like this contest of who's older. Because nobody's, once in a while you run into younger people, but the majority of them I would say that I've met are, tend to not be like in their teens and twenties. You do get people, you get people like Zimara that are, that are young. Uh, but for the most part, it is an older crowd. All right, let's take that. Although I don't really know that I'll ever need anything. All right, so we can go. Yeah, we can go out to the right. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Um, remember GTA 3 came out and Driver? That was insane. It was a new world for us gamers. I didn't play. My first Grand Theft Auto was Vice City. I was never. Uh, that was on PS2 and I got it and I liked it because of the music. I mean, it was fun. Like I thought the whole idea of it was like just so silly and ridiculous. You walk up to a car, pull the driver out and you just take his car, which I th thought that was kind of funny, but I can't say that I played it a lot, but I did like driving around listening to the uh, radio station. I thought that was a lot of fun because it was such good music. Hey, Nerd of Paradise, welcome, welcome. Derek, hello. Maybe when you hit 50, you'll grow out of this gaming phase. I don't know. I mean, for me, it's been intermittent like i've gone long periods of time when i didn't game at all just because of life and stuff so um i kind of got back into it a little bit for a lot more for what during covid so but i haven't always i mean it, it's been kind of you know in and out i mean i had a 2600 and then i have another console until the super nes and then i had a nintendo 64 playstation 2 xbox 360 uh ps3 xbox one and now i'm just pc Manic Miner and made it open world. I don't know that game. Got a bloodied Mr. Handy Buzzblade with 50 crit chance and 40% damage while power attacking. Uh, that could actually be pretty good. Yeah, if you do VATs, like if you do VATs criticals, that could actually be really fun. You'll be, you can be surprised at how good it is. I'd rather have power attack damage, but uh, the 50% crit damage, I'm assuming that's crit damage, not crit chance. Uh, crit damage, that could actually be pretty good if you're specced for a crit build. I only played um, Vice City. I didn't play any of the other Grand Theft Autos. GTA 3 blew your mind, then Morrowind completely crushed it. My first uh, Bethesda game was Fallout 3, so I never played Morrowind. I played Oblivion, but not Morrowind. But even though Oblivion came out first, I played Fallout 3 first, and that's what got me to try Oblivion, because Fallout 3 is still my all-time favorite game. All right, let's go to here. I love the, ex I mean, the exploration of Fallout 3 was so much, it, it just was amazing to me. That was like just, for me, that was just this completely different thing than any other game I played. I mean, because I played dungeon crawlers before and stuff, but for the most part, they were pretty linear. You couldn't just do whatever you wanted, go wherever you want. And Fallout 3 was just like, wow, I can just go anywhere. And the world was just so cool to explore. It's still, it's probably still my favorite map. You're 19, but it feels 60. Oh, okay. Oh... Uh, Wait, what did I do? Oh, let's see. We've got stuff to script, maybe. Two-shot Gatling laser? No. Well, minor gauntlet nocturnal? No. All right, so we have 800 script to go. Yeah, I may not be able to save those. Uh... Oh, I got some flux. I think that's my the first appearance of flux. I don't think I'm going to be able to save the... Uh... Not a stim pack. Right away. Let's see. Let's save the supers. Let's do another... Yeah, let's do a super. Let's save the supers. Let's put them away. They're kind of heavy. And yeah, we'll put away some of those. They're heavy, and it's not like my stash is doing much.
Atari, Odyssey, Commodore 64, Amiga 500, NES Super O. So you're everything. You are a hardcore person. Yeah, nice. New Vegas was your first Fallout game. You hated it at first because you, uh, you weren't used to that type of... Yeah. Uh, for me, the hard part of Fallout 3 was the first person. I hadn't played first person games before. Everything I'd done was third person. And then it's like, oh, it has a third person mode. I So that's what got me to try it. And then I did third person. I'm like, this third person, this game sucks. It just, it's not good. So, I mean, it's fine. It's just, it's a bit janky is the thing. So I just went, okay. And I got to the point where I got so used to first person that I, you know, the third person became difficult for me. Um, I think we'll keep, we don't need Mintats. Yeah, our weight's good. See, it's like, I'm over here worried about my weight's 67. All right, let's just double check. Uh, let's see. I'm going to repair this. And I'm going to use the workbench. Oh, encrypted. There we go. Fall has so much to do. You love... Oh, Skyrim. I love Skyrim, too. I have... Like, even though Fallout 3 is my favorite game, it... Um, I, I don't have the most... I mean, I don't have a lot of hours into it. I mean, I have hundreds. But I don't have insane... Like, Skyrim, I have over a thousand hours. And then this game is just... It's just stupid amount above that. But Fallout 4, I've got a lot of hours into. Probably kind of what I have in Skyrim as well. Love the world space of Fallout 76 so much. It's what saved the game for you, actually. The attention. To this is an amazing map. I mean, that is one thing Bethesda does really well, is they design worlds. Like, their worlds are amazing. That's, I think that's what they do better than anybody else, which is what, what makes Starfield such a shame. But anyway, I've harped on Starfield enough. <laughs> Take the experience and cynicism you read here and then apply to your youth and enjoy. I think she's got enough cynicism for, I think she's got us all beat. Probably. Although I will say I was probably a lot more cynical when I was her age than now. But I also had the other thing. Like I had the more, I was probably more cynical and more optimistic. Now I'm just kind of down the middle. Good luck. All right. And don't bug out my sound. I've already restarted my game once. I don't want to do it again. Oh, I'm chameleon. Ugh. God, I hate, I hate chameleon. I don't like having my not being able to see my character. Especially since I'm playing in third person, right? Like, I'm playing in third person. I'm not doing that so I can see an invisible character. Hey, Galadorn. You'd say Ubisoft makes better worlds, but understand. Oh, okay. I have not played any Ubisoft games. So, I was looking. There was a sale. Uh, I think a week. It was last week, I think. I don't know if it's... I don't think it's still going. But there was a sale on the uh, Far Cry games. And so I was looking to get a couple because they were really cheap. They were like 80% off. But then I looked that you need their stupid launcher to play the game. So it's like, not only do I have to have Steam going, but I have to have the Ubisoft launcher going. And everyone, t everything I read basically said the Ubisoft launcher ruins the game. It's like the worst launcher. And it's a terrible experience. And that basically got me to not buy the games. That was, that was the reason. Because I was all set to pull the trigger because it was like, you know, Far Cry 5 was like seven bucks or something. I'm going... Okay, I don't feel like I'm doing any damage. So, yeah, but it was that, but it was just the launcher. And, you know, I mentioned it in my Discord, and yeah, a lot of people were chiming in about how bad the launcher is. I went on Steam, was reading reviews, and man, people do not like Ubisoft. Like, that's, <laughs> that's all I can say. Ubisoft does not seem to be a very popular uh, company. Brother doesn't like this game, and he did give it a try, but he said that the map was amazing. The main problem he has is that it's online only. Yeah, I get that. Ubi Launcher is terrible like BathNet. Uh, oh, we got a... Uh, boom, all right. BathNet? What is BathNet? Or do you mean Bethesda Net? Or is BathNet something else I don't know about? Because I don't know. You love Far Cry... I heard Far... I mean, Far Cry 5, based on the description, seems like it would probably be the one that I would like the most. Uh, but... Uh, okay, where is the... Where is it? But again, it was just like, I didn't want the launch, like the whole launcher. But then it also sounds like there are ways to get around that. Like you can get around using the launcher if you do things, which I would totally be open to because I think that's, uh, I can't get to that person. <laughs> it's like, I'll save you, but they're on the roof. Did it die? No, 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 it did not die. Okay. Uh, let's see, I'll go grab this one over here. Unless he's grabbing it, then I won't. Uh-oh. 
He went down. <laughs> went down. Uh. Ah! Bethesda launcher. I didn't really use the, uh... I use the Bethesda launcher very briefly because when I started the game, I'd start on Steam. And uh, then when I got my second account, I got on the Bethesda launcher, but then they they uh, sunsetted it really uh, shortly thereafter. So I didn't use it that much, but I didn't, I don't remember it being particularly terrible. But the fact, but you didn't, the thing is, the thing with, uh, uh, the thing with, um, the Far Cry stuff, it looks like you have to have Steam and the launcher. So it's like, okay, I have to have Steam up and the launcher. To me, that just doesn't seem right. It's like I bought it through Steam and I have to have the launcher, which probably they want a whole bunch of personal information to set up. So it's just, I'm just not a fan, especially for single player offline games. To me, that's just that's just bad. And I don't want to, I, I honestly just don't want to support a company that, that treats its customers that way. That's kind of the biggest thing for me. Although when the Star Wars game, because aren't they the ones that are doing Star Wars Outlaws, which is supposed to come out this year? And I really want to play that. So I may have to do the Ubisoft thing. I swear I saw another. Maybe not. All right. Spin the wheels. Good. That's a fun one. Uh, let's see. Far, Far Cry New Dawn is set after five in a post-apocalyptic map. Oh, fun. New Dawn is awesome. Short and sweet. Cool. T-A-M-M, -M, welcome. New Dawn wasn't bad. For Honor and Creed maps are beautiful. Okay. Expeditions were brilliant. You haven't got to Far Cry 6. You can put the login username and password in the INI file and no need for the launcher. Ah, oh, okay. Is that how it works? Okay, that's good to know. Well, that sounds like a pretty easy workaround, Brian. I mean, is it really that simple where you just like, if that's all you have to do to work around it, that sounds like a really good workaround. That's, yeah. I don't think, I think the sale's long over though. I guess we started this event. I didn't see anyone even go near the thing. Although sometimes it spawns you on the stage and so you have no choice. Oh, I need to go to Maggie too. That's cause that's a quest. What level am I? 35, which I have three level ups. Ideally I'd like to have more than that in my pocket when the next, uh, next thing starts. So let's see, let's sort by spoil again. Uh, let's see. Oh, okay. I don't have any. How's the company tea situation? I think I just refreshed that. All right. So let's do that. And some new cola. No purified water. There we go. Oh, we got something. Come on. Let's cripple him. Cripple. Cripple. There we go. That works a little bit. That was a stagger. I want to cripple. Enforcer's such a good perk, yeah. Reloads are still a little slow. It's that time again, folks. Don't bother with six. The main antagonist of Far Cry Six is voiced by the guy. Yeah, it's the uh, from uh, Breaking Bad. I can't think of his name, but yeah. Character is also modeled after the actor. Yeah, that seems like they do that often in some games. Cause d that was uh, what was it the Jedi? Uh, what a Jedi survivor was that way, right? They use that that actor. They used his likeness kind of to model after the character. Aww, right about Ubi untrustworthy. They've been acting like Bethesda was at 76 release. Ah, okay. But what are we doing? Oh, I guess we're done. Oh, somebody found the imposter. Okay. I look away and everyone completes an objective. Good job. Use this Fallout 76 quick configuration launcher mod organizer. Oh, okay. I don't, uh, I only have one mod on this game. I don't, I just... I just I just put it in manually. I don't use any I don't use mod organizer for this. I use it for Fallout 4. Although I don't run a lot of mods. My current mod list on Fallout 4 is like it's either 5 or 6 mods. It's not that many things. I just do some minor quality of life things. Cuz there are some mods that I kind of for me are kind of mandatory. Cause I like survival mode, so when I play Fallout 4, survival options is a go is a must. Cause I like to uh, I like survival, but there's things about it I want I don't like. They're kind of immersion breaking, but I like to to fix. And I use a load accelerator mod, which uh, speeds up load times by a lot. Just everything's dying before I can. <laughs> everything's just dying instantly. 
Detroit become human. Jad characters mod after the voice actors is pretty cool and being okay. Yeah. It is pretty cool. Then when you see the voice actor, you're like, hey, I recognize them. They look just like the character. Going to go see Dune 2 this weekend. You're so excited. You know, I haven't. I saw the first one, but I don't remember it. So if I ever see Dune 2, I'd have to watch the first one again. But isn't it supposed to be a trilogy? Like, wasn't that the original thing? So there'll be another one? If that's the case, I'll probably just wait until the third one comes out and just watch them all together. Greg Burke, he was also in Ray Genesis. I don't know Ray Genesis. I don't know what that is. Cappy Hunt, is this the, uh... Oh, Golden Cappy. The only one I know of is the one that spawns right here. This is it. Did I get it? I don't know. That's, ooh, I'll take this uh, new Kacheri, though. Uh, let's see. And I see the bottles. I want to pick them up. Fallout 4 survival mode. Pick up those bottles. Fill them up. That's how you, uh... That's always the thing. Before I leave the vault, I pick up every bottle I can find and fill it in the drinking fountains. So I leave with plenty of purified water to start me out. Aaron Paul has a cameo in this game. In which game? This game? Or another game? Or in Far Cry 6. Can't think of that guy's name. He always seemed to pay like a bad guy though. I guess I'll just start tagging stuff since everything's dying just fine. I don't need to, uh, I don't need to help in the killing department. I'll just tag. Uh, nothing over here. This backside doesn't seem to be getting attacked, which I guess is fine. You have 27 mods for Fallout 76 on the Nexus. Uh, ones that you made? Oh, that's cool. Eviction notice, a comment about what? Oh, he's the voice in eviction notice. Oh, gotcha. Juan Carlos Esposito. Thank you, TDM. That's the one. Oh, I missed the... Uh... Oh, okay. So he is eviction notice. Okay. Jesse Pinkman, Aaron Paul. Yeah. I knew Aaron Paul was. I didn't realize he was in this... Uh... That he was the eviction notice guy. Now I'll have to listen next time it comes up. See if I hear it. All right. So I got some legendary stuff. Plus I got a whacker smacker, which is good for 40 script. Welcome. Ugh. Except cowboys. Yeah, we're talking about annoying NPCs earlier. This uh, place is full of them. Pump action shotgun. All right, is he still going? All right. I want to turn in my stuff. Hurry up. Yeah. Yeah, he was in Far Cry 6. That was the guy we were trying to think of. Okay, let's see. Ultrasight, that... Whacker Smacker. I'll put the armor away just because it's a weird number. And uh, there we go. What do we have here? Anything? I'll take the treasure map. I don't know if I'll use them, although it would be a good way to get mods and stuff. Welcome to Nuka World I don't know. Oh. Okay, like let's, let's scrap first. Trying to sort through scrap when you're trying to sell things sure is a little bit tedious. Back. My carry weight is lots of good stuff. It would be nice if we got an eviction notice. That would be what I want at the top of the hour. Because then I'll have plenty of script and then I'll never have to think about it again. I mean, I really just need 500. So as long as I'm at 500 when the, you know, before the next stream, I'm, in, I'm good. And I think we're probably... We're probably okay. Let's see. Mask. I'm just going to sell this. I don't need a mascot outfit. I'll never use it. Yeah, go ahead. Tree, sure, why not? All right. <clears throat> What were we doing? Oh, let's go to Maggie. Let's go return that. Complete that quest. Since it's so easy, it's a couple of button clicks. <clears throat> That's kind of a cool picture. I don't think I took it. It can be kind of confusing because sometimes it shows your pictures and sometimes it shows just random pictures. Uh, and I don't think... Oh, that's what I need to do. Let's get wards daily again. Try and get some... Uh, that's another reason to get eviction notice. I want to get reps so I can do the uh, grocer's backpack. Get me up to friendly rep. I found the watch. Oh, I lied. Oh, well, that's fine. And I think there's a holotape as well. Found the holotape. There we go. I think all you get from her is like XP and some caps. 
Good luck. All right, so that's done. Let's do talk to Ward. Finally. I mean, last time it put me in a really bad spot. Hopefully, I get a better, a better location this time around. Excellent. I can show you. Let's go turn in some. Let's see, treasury notes. Other than the backpack mod, I don't really know what else. Uh... Oh, look at that, forty. Perfect. Six hundred eighty goals. Yes, I have enough to buy the backpack mod. All right, where does Ward want me to go? How's it going? Probably not a good idea, but that's okay. Vital equipment. Oh, okay. I'm actually that's actually pretty close. We're gonna go there. We'll do that. We can handle the ash heap. <clears throat> and I don't think it's been a I don't think because Minerva's big sale will be next next week, I think, is when her big sale is. I don't think she's gonna have the backpack mods. So yeah, I need to get friendly rep. Okay, we need to go. Okay, let's take this other one off for a minute. So I'm following only one quest marker. All right, this way we go. Hopefully it puts me in a spot that's not in the middle of uh, Cactus Cafe. Well, thank you for playing, whoever you are. Oh, someone was asking about the Nuka Quantum. I don't know how many they sell in here. I know you can buy them. Nuka Quantum, there's, uh, yeah, just one. So, I mean, server hopping, because you can get one here and you can get one. Because whatever the inventory is here, Bubble sells it in, at the White Spring. She sells the exact same things in the exact same quantities. So, you can get like two per server going to the vendors. That is one way to get the Nuka Quantums. Let's see. Hopefully, this isn't right in the middle of like the Raider, Raider Central. It might be, though, based on the map. We'll find out. 63, well, yes, 63 caps. So it just depends. I mean, I think caps are pretty easy to farm. So uh, like for me, I don't ever think of that, but yeah. Fallout 4 was your first Fallout game. One of the best games. You just loved it. Yeah, I like Fallout 4 a lot too. I have been playing it a lot um, this week, actually. I mean, I had two days where I only played that. I didn't play Fallout 76 at all. Other than to log in and turn in script. That was it. Uh, let's see. Oh, are they going to be up there? I hope they're not up there. I don't really want to fight 10 million raiders. All right, let's see. The last time the transmitter wasn't working for me, so. All right, let's see. What's the percentage? It's not working again. Oh, there we go. 45. I have a feeling they're going to be up in here. Let's see. 52. The number jumps. 60. Yeah, they're going to be in here. <laughs> Darn it. They're going to be in here. Um, she got a marker. There we go. Wait, I picked it up. I picked it up. What are you? Are you kidding me? I I looted the body. Did I do it wrong? Oh, I know how. I know what I did. I did area loot, and area loot doesn't pick up quest items. Okay. I'm like, what are you talking about? I cleaned the body out. Why didn't it pick it up? All right, so now we'll go back to ward. Quick way to get some rep. Perfect. That was easy. That is a lot of raiders. Well, that's where you go for Beck. Isn't that where you go for Beckett? Or is that another one? I don't know, but that's a lot of raiders, so I didn't really want to go in there. Don't fall off. Doesn't fall off for have more players than Fallout 76. Yes. Fallout. So, yeah, we were talking about this earlier. Fallout 4 has more players than 76. Uh, Fallout 76 has more than Starfield at the moment. And uh, Skyrim has more than all of them. Skyrim is the king. Buy it. Buy it usually by quite a lot. Skyrim usually has over 20,000 people going, at least in Steam. Obviously, consoles, who knows? But uh, mods. I mean, that's the thing. Mods just. Yeah, Skyrim has such a big world. And it's such a great game. Let's see. I'm donating because that gives me the best reward, I think. We'll get this All right, so... Right away. Ooh, we're getting up there. But that's not friendly. I think we have, like, one one more level past this. So it's a while before we get to friendly. But that's okay. If I can get an eviction notice, that would make some difference, too. Because I think eviction notice is like doing one of the dailies. So there's that. Okay, so there's the treasury notes. There's that. All right, let's go... What is... Oh, let's let's start quest or trekking for this one. 
Let's see. We got to the tower. Bethesda struggles to monetize. Oh, yeah, the older games. I mean, that's true. I mean, with the older games. Yeah, I mean, they have Creation Club, which I don't even know if that's still a thing. I mean, I guess it'll be a thing again with the next gen update because it'll give us a bunch of Creation Club content. But yeah, I mean, it's all the free mods, right? Like people make mods for free. So why are you going to buy them when when people uh, yeah, when people make really good stuff and just give it away? What happens when you max out one faction's reputation? Does the other? No. One faction's reputation has no effect on the other faction. It would make sense, right? Like, it would make sense if the Raiders loved you that the Settlers wouldn't. But no, you can actually have max rep with both uh, both factions. And if you play a character long enough, that's what'll happen. You'll just end up with max rep eventually just by accident for with both factions, which I'm not sure how that makes any kind of sense, but uh, Bethesda. I agree that it's dumb. I absolutely agree. I think you should have to choose. Because people, they, I mean, that is a common question, right? When their first time, it's like, I'm about to go into the vault. Who do I go with? Doesn't matter. <laughs> I mean, it matters in terms of you can get a unique weapon called the Slug Buster by doing it at the Raiders. Other than that, and the Raider, but the Raiders is more glitchy. So it depends on what you're going for. But other than that, at the end of the day, there it's, you know, being with one isn't going to. All right. Combat inhibitor. Let's see. There we go. Fight your friends. I want to see him turn on his friends. How are they hitting me? They should they can't see me. It's not working. <clears throat> All right, there we go. Now he's shooting his friends, maybe? No? <laughs> they're still just they're not turning on each other. You're doing it wrong. There we go. Okay, they all have crippled combat inhibitors. If I go down under here, Are they still not gonna? They're, they should be frenzied, but they're they're yeah. <clears throat> oh my god! I got crippled. Jeez. That did not go how it should have gone. <clears throat> oh well. It was a good idea. Zero. Oh yeah. There's yeah. There's not really any role. I mean, the role playing is. The only way you can role play in this game is to do kind of what I do. <laughs> and it's basically the way that you create the characters and put restrictions on your characters. Other than that, there, there isn't role playing in this game. There's, there's none at all. And what's crazy is, so you can lose rep. And I did this on a stream. Like I played a Raider character. You can actually lose rep. And I got my rep with found with foundation as low as you can go. It will not, they will not be hostile to you. You cannot make them hostile. Old Guard Settlers or whatever it's called. That doesn't have anything to do with the raid, though. That you get at um, at the end of the... That that the end of the... After you do the final quest on the, on the foundation side. You don't actually have to side with them. You don't actually have to do the vault raid. You just get it before you go into the vault. So the so as far as going into the vault goes, the only the only in terms of rewards, the only thing that Matt the only thing that's different between one is you can get Slugbuster from Raiders. The settlers don't give you anything special. All the special stuff from the settlers comes from doing the quest line leading up to the vault raid. Creation Club, you could not use it glitched out. Oh, okay. People on PlayStation will most likely buy Creation Club items. Unfortunately, some CC content causes bugs. Yeah, well, yeah. Shared world. Imagine if you were playing on team with different people with different reps. Some hostile, some not. But it happens anyway, TDM. I mean, if you think about it, so we already have that in the game. So suppose you, yeah, stealth suit exactly. But you don't have to go into the vault with them, right? You just do the quest leading up to it. So if you go into Watoga, right? If you've done mayor for a day, the robots are not hostile to you. But if you haven't done it, they will be. You can actually go in and do it with somebody and the robots will shoot at them, but not you. The same thing with the raiders. Like right now, raiders are hostile to me. If somebody else has rep where it's not hostile, they'll shoot at me, but not at them. So they already do that in the game. So there's no, like, that's the thing. It doesn't really make sense. Uh, like some of the limits don't make sense already because they've already accounted for that. Uh, okay, we've got, okay, I'm going to put a tent down right here. We've got a mutated event, so in like 
Yeah, like 45 seconds. You messed up and did Mare for a day. Wish you could undo it. I don't know. It makes trips to a toga kind of nice. I like I don't I like I like having that. Just going to a toga and not have to worry about it. Uh da, 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 da. okay. I'm actually caught up. You guys are making it easy for me today. Although there's fewer of you than normal. All right, come on. All right, we've got uh, 15 seconds until a mutated event. And then, uh, yeah, I should be able to complete this afterwards. Oh, Galadorn's here with his other account. Team Medic. Oh, love farming for XP and lead. Eh, okay. Robots aren't really the best source. Ooh, test your metal. I like test your metal, but it is not... Uh, oh, wait. Okay, we're not in the... Okay, that's a good drop. <laughs> Sometimes that could be in the zone, and then that's... Uh, Especially for a character, I need to get a hazmat suit. I need to prioritize that. But I haven't had, I don't think I've had, uh, have I been to the other play? Let's see. Have I been to Emmett Mountain yet? I don't know that I have. No, I haven't been there yet. So I can't just fast travel. Yeah, I need to make picking up a, a hazmat suit kind of an important thing. Let's actually, what I want to do, I'm going to go over here and grab a chainsaw. You never know. I may end up with a chainsaw from the purveyor one of these times. So... And you can learn mods by scrapping them. Let's see, a chainsaw's in this one. Unless someone picked it up. Nope, there it is, chainsaw. Go scrap it. Remember when you could farm non-hostile with Togo robots all day? No. I think that was kind of before my... Uh... There we go. <laughs> I got turned around. Uh, kind of before I started playing. Yeah, this is definitely a sleepy world. It's like, hey, it's a mutated event, people, and it's a good one. Oh, combat rifle. I haven't seen a lot of those yet. I didn't learn any mods for the chainsaw. Unfortunate. Let's see. I'm going to take this fusion core. Whoops. I'm going to take this fusion core. Probably not going to use power armor, but I have that charger, and I'm going to have uh, I'm gonna have uh, fusion cores charge up if it ever comes to that. But We should have more bots of our own. Anisha Dorsey did good work. Never get legendaries at Watoga. Never have since day one. We might be. I don't remember. Yeah, I don't remember, but I haven't been playing. I've only been playing since Wastelanders. Used to have legendary robots. Okay. Uh, let's see. We've got. All right, we've got some people. All right, people are coming. All right, I'm talking. Hey, it's good to see you. Gonna get this going. Start events. My teammates. There we go. Do 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 do. In we go. They patch them out. I like this armor, but it's almost time. My resistance. What's my resistance again? Fifty-nine and fifty-seven. Yeah. Hopefully, we can do better next time, but you never know. Hazmat suit because, it, well, just in case, it's one of those things that you never know. Because if this wasn't a nuke zone, because that does happen sometimes, uh, I want to be able to do it. Or if someone drops in a bad nuke on the queen, I want to be able to do it. So. Attention to detail is wonderful. Yes. Oh, you mean their their hazmat suits? Yes. All right. So yeah, I'm, my guns are starting to struggle at this point. Part of that's the build, though. I don't really have much in the way of damage. So my vats hit chance is pretty good, though. Or my vats accuracy. Something is hitting me with fire. How dare you? Get those level ups. Yeah, if I can get to level, probably won't, but if I can get to level 40, that'd be kind of nice, actually. I, that should be my goal. I want to hit level 40. Man, geez, everything staggers you. It's so, just like everything in this game. Oh, there was a, uh, all right, I just need one more level up. One more level up. Something's flaming me. Because I want to get level 40 stuff when I, uh, at the next stream. So, gotta get to level 40 today. Because then my stuff will only be 10 levels behind when I max out, which is not too bad. Anyone found any Enclave mods? I've never found any. Well, no, I found one in a vendor. It was like a splitter or something. I mean, it wasn't even a good mod, but... I mean, they've been added to the game supposedly, but I haven't seen them. Let's see. Can meets. Nope. Can meets do. That's what I want. All right. Golden robot. Let's get us some cash.
I'm crippling it. There we go. 4,000 caps. What's my aristocrats doing? What do I get with 4,000 caps? Plus three. So I have plus three damage <laughs> resistance because of... Uh, ar wow, my armor. Woo. Yeah, my armor's in kind of rough shape. Is this a leg? Yeah, legs don't last as long as anything else. They wear out first. Still, I shouldn't have to repair it. Got that one. I'm just trying to tag whatever I can tag. Oh, I'm almost at level 40. Yeah, I'm going to get to level 40 easy. Oh, that's not a robot. That's a dude in power armor. That's a dude in power armor. Okay, something's killing me. There we go. Level 40. Perfect. I don't think I can get to level 50, though. Uh, not today, anyway. To Wait, what was that? What was that name? Oh, Purgatron is what it said. No. It's not locking on. Uh, Team Medic is give, giving me a lot of healing. Perfect. All right. One in a month. I mean, I know there's people that have done like insane amounts of server hopping to uh, to find those mods. I haven't bothered. I mean, part of the problem is the Enclave mods, the ones like they don't affect X AP like they should. So, I mean, the plasma guns are just kind of broken as far as AP goes. So I've got flamers that I use. I mean, I would love to have one like some automatic that were like specced out perfectly, but yeah, I wish the mod system was better. I wish the Enclave mods for the the Enclave uh, weapons were the same as the Scout mods, where we could just go buy the mods that we want instead of having this stupid RNG system. I mean, it's just like whoever, yeah, the RNG in this game, like when they when they want to have stuff limited, they really go. Uh, <laughs> they, they go out of their way to make it just so tedious. It's like, hey, here's this weapon you might want to use, but if you want to mod it, we're going to make the chance of you getting the mod so insanely low that you're probably not going to want to bother. Should be getting some legendaries from this, so yeah, we're doing okay. Eviction notice, though. I want an eviction notice, damn it. Got that one. How many other ones are there? Is this the one? Just the one. All right. He's been hit. He's probably standing in fire. Usually that's what happens when they say they've been hit. They're standing in fire. Got that one. And tag that one, too. Just tagging everything. Getting those levels. Level, level 41. All right. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. We're making progress in the level department. So you give me a lot of uh, perks to... Okay. <laughs> to uh, to work with the next time around. Get all this stuff. And I think that's it. Yep, that's it. Rust Eagle Banner. Awesome. I was hoping to get a Rust Eagle Banner and a Mutated Party Pack. Okay. Let's go back to here. Sort all our stuff and then head towards Somerville. Get that taken care of. Is this event where you get the most? I think so. I mean, you can get, I think it's like a thousand caps or 900, 1100, something like that. You get a lot of caps for it just as the bonus. And so if you come here early on, what's my caps? 4,600. So yeah, I think I got 900 caps. That's pretty good. The ones sold by Watoga vendors at the, are the ones in the random spawn points. Yeah. No, they're the same. I mean, the ones by the overeaters raider leg, the, um, you never know when someone has, like, legendaries or something. There's just a bunch of notes, right? Wow, that's a lot. Of, like, every note in the game. Wow. They just dropped. That must have taken them forever to <laughs> go through all this stuff. Uh, Yeah, I don't see anything. All right. That was a lot of scrolling. Because they changed with one of the... I think it was with the December update. Um, Like, the, the mods for the... They can actually drop. As like from from events, from Meyer events, from Cranberry Bog events. But the drop chance is just, it's so low. Like so, so low. 
I think it's like calibrated shock slow. Ultra sight calibrated shock slow. So, so supposedly there's a chance for that stuff to drop. And I think you can get them in the uh, oh fusion core. Let's put those away. I think you can get them in the uh, in the mutated party pack at the vendor from Berkeley. Berkeley Springs train station, I think, has a chance to have the Enclave mods. Not a big chance, but I think it has a chance. I'm not positive though. I don't I don't chase those just because it's so te I don't like I don't like it if I have to server hop 10 million times to find something. And uh, to me, that's just not a good system. I mean, it's one thing like red asylum dress. I'm okay with that being rare because that's fine. Like I don't like a red asylum dress is not going to affect my character. But if I have a weapon I want to use and I can't get the mods for it because they're so rare. To me, that's a terrible design. I mean, that just is really a bad design. Let's see. I had a bunch of plans to learn or some plans. Let's do a banner. Oh, you know what? I think I want. Let's get the. Uh, I think this is where we buy it. Let's get the. Uh, let's see. Notes. Fusion generator. Yeah, it's not an expensive plan. I will do that to build up my. Uh, mess around with my camp a little bit. All right. Let's go back to my tent. Perfect. Love the plasma splitters, but the AP cost. Oh yeah, the AP cost is terrible. Can you give Fallout first on Steam to friends? I don't know. I'm assuming you could. If they put it on their wish list, I'm assuming you could. I don't know. Hey, Thundor. You check when you join a new server, but you're not going to drive yourself crazy hunting. the. Yeah, exactly. I mean, it's one of those things where it's like, it's like, uh, I don't know. It's bad. Collectible stuff should be rare. Apparel being rare, that's fine. But stuff that actually affects weapons or armor mods should not be that rare. It shouldn't be hard to find. So my power armor character, level 700 and something, I think 760 or something like that. I have a lot of hours in that character. I mean, that's a character that's, it's always been full health. I don't level quickly. So I have a lot of hours on that character and I've done a ton of queen events. I still don't know calibrated shocks for the ultrasight armor, ultrasight power armor. I've never had it drop for that character. And I actually have a uh, ultrasight piece that I would like to use, but I want to put calibrated shocks on it. So it's a little bit frustrating. The two Watoga, Watoga vendors regularly, but rarely had them for sale. You haven't checked recently, but they certainly were there a couple of months ago. Yeah, but there were, there were mods. I mean, there was only a few mods you could buy. And now they've actually added in every single mod to the loot pool. And so things like Reflex Sight, which didn't used to be a mod, you can actually get as a mod. So stuff like that. And that's and those are the ones that are just like insanely rare. Oh. Well, now Flamer is not that much better than the Unholy yeah. Flamer. Are you another ghost? Could understand it if the Enclave oh, Plasma yeah, was like an ultra in-game weapon, but everything. Yeah, exactly. It's only a little bit better than a regular Plasma Gun. It's better, but it's not like, you know, in-game in whatever better. Let's see. I don't know. I think strength will get me what I want here. I think that's all I need is, is high strength and I can threaten it. Yeah, strength will do it. Not even high. Four? All right, there we go. That'll give me what I want. That'll get me what I want. And here. Some people sell the legs with calibrate on it. Yeah, except I was going for... I, I wanted to do... Um... um the other one well but, but that but the thing is if i've already got like legendary rolls i have i want on it like i can mod the legs hey Cirque. i can mod the legs with another character but if i want to use strangler hard armor that's not tradable and that uses ultrasight mods so it's 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 uh yeah that's where i'm a little frustrated at the moment let's see i've got that i've checkpointed all right let's just go back to the wayward and uh then she'll say hey do you want to uh whatever there's Rad roaches upstairs. We don't care about them. Because my main character actually does know the plan. And I think I have one other character that knows it. I'm not sure which one. Because I know I've got that calibrated shocks plan twice. I thought the other time I got it was on my power armor character. But apparently it wasn't. And I don't have any extras kicking around. I checked every character's stash. And I don't have any. I mean, it's a, it's a stupidly rare plan. So having extra ones would be... Would be kind of surprising. Although the cat, the uh, I was looking at the drop chance for the camo jumpsuit, and the fact that I had two of those within a month. I mean, the drop chance on that is just so low. <laughs> it's it's, it's like a third of a percent, something like that. Uh, here we go. You got one. 
Got two Enclave Flamers, but the range is not good, and it's bad in bats and eats AP. Yeah, it's not really a bats weapon. Come over here and let's discuss, huh? You need radioactive plans? Oh, radioactive, oh, reactive plates? Is that what you mean, Radio reactive plates? I don't think I know that. I don't think I know reactive plates even. Um, yeah, I don't know that. It, it doesn't ring a bell. I know I don't have one kicking around, but I don't even know if I've, uh, if I had that one. No. I like reactive plates, so I think that's a fun, that's a fun mod. I use, it's, it's great for power armor, especially in like, um, colossal problem. Cause you just run around in the, and every time they hit you, you're tagging them because the damage reflects back. So yeah, I like reactive plates. I've just become addicted to, um, to jetpacks though. So. <laughs> Crane, you ready to listen? All right then. All right, now we have to go up and do the right. suffer through this painful conversation, but I have a solution for that. So, I've known where we'll see Crane. We'll shoot him. Duchess will have a cow, and but it's the fastest course of action. Let's see this pepperoni roll. It looks delicious. Oh, level forty-two. Oh, look at that. I'm only eight levels away from max, but there's no way I'm going to get to level fifty. <laughs> Not today. If it was double XP, I would, but that's okay. Next stream, I'll get level 40 stuff, which would be pretty good. I mean, right now I'm using level 20. Level 40 will only be 10 behind max level, so. What in the name of there we go. The hell you think you're doing? That's what I'm doing. Uh, I saved you the pain. Of no, let's see. I didn't like the look of him. Well, that's not your <laughs> damn call to make. I had Got every to XP talk. perk. Yeah. Let's see. Watch yourself. I don't appreciate being yelled at. Are you threatening me? Hey, hey, everyone, <laughs> calm down. It's fun making her mad. I don't know why. this one's being. It's just fun. Right. They don't sleep. They don't eat. He says I'm being an ass. I saved his life. I gave him a stim pack. Although if you don't give him a stim pack, he still gets up and walks away. That's what's so funny. If you say I don't have a stim pack, he's like, oh, thanks anyway, and he just gets up and walks away. So. He was faking it all along because he didn't want to go in and help Polly. He's a bad friend. Shut up. Bad friend. Okay. There's a key card. This. All right, I got it. Give me the key card and the map. Good to go. Now, according to that map, the treasure is in some kind of cash inside Gauley Mine, sealed away behind a door. Bad faith actors. The yes. Door that card unlocks. All right. Son of. Suppose we don't need to feel. Solomon. Too soon. All right. Now. Yes. Right now. Go. All right. Now I'm going. All right. We can get. We can get there. We can get it done. Um, uh, golly mine. I went. Oh, I went through golly mine so quickly. I didn't. Uh, I didn't actually pick up the location. That's funny. Ultrasight. There you go. Zimar moves. Got ultrasight reactive plates on PC. There you go. Anyone ever here rolled a quad explosive railway? Uh, I had one once. I didn't roll. I don't think I rolled it. I got, I had one at one point. I don't remember where it came from. Cause I think I got it before legendary crafting was a thing. I gave it away though. I don't have it anymore. It was a long time ago. Pretty sure someone you killed the queen with this morning had a quad explosive railway. Yeah, they're good. I have a quad explosive fixer in my stash somewhere. Not a quad explosive railway. I'm not a railway fan. They can't be suppressed and the ammo weighs too much. Plus they're just so incredibly broken. I mean, they're so strong. So since I had to leave the server and come back, I'm guessing they all respawned. Which is kind of annoying. I killed them once. I shouldn't have to do it again. Yeah, now they're not one hits. Uh, anything else? I think that's all of them. Let's uh, scrap. Where's the workbench? I could never see it. Uh... I know there's an armor bench and it's like right here. I never can see this thing. Combat rifle mods, that can be helpful. Uh, let's see, zero, where are we? Where's the cage? Oh, there it is. Galadorn is back. He's in and out. Zero, seven, one, nine, nine, zero. There we go. I'm glad the code, code never changes. Makes it a lot easier. What legendary effects should you use for a multi-purpose axe for your full health? Um, well, I like faster swing speed. And first star, 
I mean, vampire is kind of my favorite effect for for uh, melee weapons. I like vampire. If you can't get vampire, then something like aristocrats or um, kind of anything that increases damage. Oh, is this not where? Is this one of those? There we go. All right, cover your eyes. Come on, come on. There we go. That's happened to me so many times where the key card just didn't work. Right there. Let's see, there's usually ants right here around the corner. Let's see, and then we'll be a couple of mole rats, a big fat one and a less fat one. All right, Project Paradise. I think it's safe to ignore that event. Open that button. Register our stuff. So vampire is usually my end goal for melee weapons. Vampire swing speed strength, yes. Although that third star is not super important, but yeah. That's the thing about melee weapons. Their third star isn't super important, but yeah, swing or strength is good. Uh, less vats cost if you play in vats. Let's see, weird. Uh, maybe? There we go. Register my pit boy. Axe. Will be one of the two weapons. What effects do you suggest for black powder rifle? Black powder rifle. Vats hit chance on the second star. Faster reload on the third star. Anti-armor or aristocrats on the first star. Uh, since you're playing full health. But yeah, definitely vats. I mean, definitely, definitely faster reload. Although weapon breaks slower could actually be good as well. That's a, that's a good section option because they do break really quickly. But yeah, faster reload, I would prioritize. And that's hit chance, just because you want to make every shot count. So that's the way I prefer them. Um, and it makes, a, it makes a big difference in terms of, uh, of accuracy. Come on, jeez. Ants are so strong. I don't know why they're so strong. Uh, doesn't matter which one of these I pick, because number one, it's under leveled. Number two, I can't use it. So whatever. All right, let's just take energy weapon. This will be a uh, something. Insert token, yes. Furious laser pistol with damage while aiming. All right, um, did that. Do I need to loot anything in here? I don't think I do. Oh, there's some guns. I don't need more shotgun shells. I just don't need any more shotgun shells. I have so many. Let's see, there's a, no, that's not a gun. That's a robot arm. No more shotgun shells. I guess I should take the gunpowder, though. Seems like there's, uh... Oh, Galadorn's dying. I don't know what's happening, but he's dying. Are we doing... Are they doing... No, he's not doing that. Okay. <laughs> like, are we doing Project Paradise? What's... I bet he got attacked by a random cricket or something. Did you get attacked by a random cricket, Galadorn? <laughs> a crit. Crit is good, too. Um, but I would say, I mean, crit is good. That would be my second choice, but that's hit chance. They do so much damage that yes, extra crit is nice, but I'd rather have the extra hit chance. Personal preference. Uh, let's see. Let's go. Wait, I guess we don't have to go back, right? Because I did the, uh, oh no, I have to go back to Duchess. Okay. I do have to go back. I mean, because they're free radicals, I scared them away. So they're not going to do anything. Oh, the lever action. Yeah, AA crit is good. I think for the lever action, I go for AA crit and either crit refill on the third star or faster reload or reduced AP cost. One of those. Now you just have to have a way to customize the rolls you want. I actually have one. It's really good. I've got an anti-armor 50 crit, uh, faster crit refill, and it is really good. Really good lever action. Back, huh? So, uh, this guy doesn't have bird bones. Oh, is that what it is? You jumped and crane. jumped too high. And even <laughs> fell too hard. Being selfish. Anytime huh. <laughs> time you want something shot, you. I'm here for you. True to yourself, at least. That's right. Down to business. I got this weapon. Well, what I honestly, you take care of your. All right, so. Oh, I'm already at, oh, look at that. I'm already at 500 script. Perfect. So it doesn't really matter if I can turn other stuff in or not. So great. I'm already where I need to be for next time. And I got a bow plan. I'm pretty sure you can get bows without knowing the plan. The problem with the bow isn't the bow plan. It's the mod plans. Oof. Let's see. 
55 legendary cores. It'll go unnoticed. Let's see. Dirty water. Don't really need that. Let's go sell some. Let's see. So there's that. And all right. So the overseer's thing. Ounce of prevention. Okay. So we'll make our way in that direction. But let's go sell some. Actually, we can go, go right here. There's a vendor right in Flatwoods. And we'll keep going south. Off to bed. All right, Bubba Ray. Thanks for watching. Have a good one. <clears throat> oh, that was something I wanted to check here. Wanted to see about, let's see, this. Hmm. Okay, never mind. Cancel yeah, so that. All right. Just wanted to check about uh, a raid, but sorry about that. All right, we'll go here. Because I always forget at the end of the, when the stream is over, to look for other people to raid, but very often Gassy is going before I'm done, but not always. All right, so let's do this. Oh, I should have... Uh, yeah, <laughs> I should I should have dumped uh, I should have scrapped some stuff, but that's okay. We'll sell what we can, and then we'll do a tent wine. All right, didn't I see a tent down somewhere? Oh, there's a camp. Oh, Steve's camp. We'll just go there. I'm sure he's got huh. scrap stuff that I can use, real unless it's a trap camp, and then uh, well, then it is. This would be a this would be a mean place to put a trap camp. Uh, can I get up? There we go. Give me a... Hey, there's Nuka Quantums right there. Someone needs a Nuka Quantum. All right, let's uh, scrap that. And stash box? Stash box. We'll put away the uh, this thing. And scrap. All right, still learning mods there. All right. South we go towards... Uh, Charleston. Punchy boards. Look out. There's ghouls. We don't care about ghouls. We're not in this for the ghouls. We're in this to go south towards the uh, place. So what level did I make it? So I got to level 42. Almost level 43. Okay, so next time around, I should hit max level. And that'll be the last time I have to worry about... Uh, have an underleveled stuff. Well, it spoiled meat. We don't want that. We don't want that. There we go. We're in good shape. Was walking towards White Springs. You forgot why you need to go there. <laughs> That's funny. Easy to do. This game is full of distractions, right? Yeah, I don't mind the shotgun. I mean, if I got a shotgun every time to use, that would be okay. I want variety, though. That was kind of the point of this... Uh, of this run is to have something different every time. Like even pipe weapons would be okay. I don't really think I've had a lot of pipe, although it, my strategy is if I got a pipe gun is I would, if I didn't know the mods, I would go to Nuka World and spend my Nuka Cade points on level one pipe guns and scrap those for mods. Wanted to buy plants for the black powder rifle. There you go. There's a black powder. Oh, oops, sorry. <laughs> I thought it was a dog. It was a big dog, but I thought it was a dog. It was the non-hostile variety of the Radstags. I don't think I've been here before. No, I haven't been here before. I didn't think so. Let's see. I see floaters over there. Uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to ignore them if they ignore me. We're just going to have this uh, I'll leave you alone if you leave me alone kind of agreement. Yeah, the server feels very... the I mean, I logged in earlier around, uh, like, the reset time to turn in script, and I did an event. It felt very sleepy. Like, there just wasn't a lot of people... Uh, not a lot of people doing stuff. I think Foshnot just burned people out, and then there are a lot of them are just done for the season. So... I bought guard? What are they... What are they guarding? Who are they guarding? Uh, do they guard the, uh, what is that? Pack Brahmin. 
What? All right, I have no idea what's going on. What's up with this? I thought maybe it was like a rare vendor or something that are, you know, like a traveling merchant, but no. Just an iBot guard for reasons. Is this an asset? I know this isn't somebody's camp, but is there one of these? Has there ever been one of these in the atomic shop? I think this would be a cool thing to be able to build at your camp. I mean, it would obviously take up a lot of space, but I just think that would be kind of a nice thing. It would look really good. I like windmills. But I don't know if that's ever been in the atomic shop. Oh, a settler caravan so they don't do anything? All right. <clears throat> All right, stuff is really slow to pick up today. Trading post, survival, supplies, assistance. I've never noticed this sign before. I have not noticed. That's interesting. I've never noticed that sign before. Interesting. All right, so what do we have here? All right, let me check one more time to see if... Um, let's see. Da, 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 under that. Under this. Um... Uh, Nope. All right. There is nobody else who's live. Okay. Well, we are going to end things right here. I was looking for someone to uh, raid you, but there isn't anybody. So random event, random encounter. <clears throat> oh, they get jumped by super mutants. Okay. Uh, this is fun. Okay. So this character will get a brand new set of gear next, uh, next time around. So that'll be on Monday. Uh, if Mr. Epos is, <clears throat> geez, losing my voice. Uh, when Mr. Epos goes live, I plan to be there for that, assuming he does go live and he's not asleep. So everyone have a good rest of your day and a good weekend.